Wow. Uh, <laughs> so, my goal is to make uh, Liv lose it as much as possible. Yes. Um, Absolutely. But yeah, we're back. Back once again. Um, and yeah, I should do some announcements. That'd be a good idea. Uh, so, announcements. Uh, of course, today is in too deep, 4 p.m. PDT, every week. Uh, I have hair in my face right now. It's very weird wearing glasses and headphones at the same time. Like, uh, not me wearing two. If it horizons tomorrow at 6 p.m. PDT with our guest, uh, I, I'm not sure what they would like to be referred to as. Just saying Remy. Remy guest. Yay. Remy post. I'm looking at the Discord announcement right now. It's just at Remy post. I think that's the same tag on Twitter. I apologize if I'm absolutely obliterating this right now. It's cool. But. Um, Friday's Ramble Mancy once again 7pm PDT uh, Lucas Freeman uh, and John will be talking about preparing the game from a player and GM perspectives uh, or prepping for the game rather uh, yeah that means the same thing uh, but yeah uh, other announcements about the charity event we made our charity giveaway merch orders today so keep an eye on your post for a few weeks if you want a merch giveaway during the event and it's Media Club Week. Twitch subs and patrons, you can keep an eye out for that on Tuesday. Uh, and one last announcement uh, regarding the VODs. So all VODs from last week, that includes Into Deep, uh, Infinite Horizon, etc., have been delayed, uh, but they will be up shortly. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, oh, sorry, not not yeah, just Into Deep and Rainbow Mansi, not Infinite Horizon. Just and this is just for YouTube. Yeah. All right, um, so uh, let's go. I guess the introductions are a thing. Unfortunately, Drek is not here with us today due to uh, due to extenuating circumstances with life, but that is fine. Uh, so starting with, we'll go with Liv. Hey, everybody. My name is Liv. I play an R. You can find me on Twitter at Liv in a Day, and um. I'm like, excited to hang out with all you cool cats. It's gonna be a good time. <laughs> Back on. Uh, Leah, you're right. next. <laughs> I'm Leah. I play the Orc Cleric Toko. You can find me at That Geeky Artist on Twitter, and uh, I'm ready to be gay, do heist. Where are my glasses? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lily. <laughs> They call me Lily. <laughs> I play Jenna. Howard Drow Road. <laughs> and I laugh at my own jokes. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Lillianapolis on Twitter. I said that like how I don't point out how I'm more than half of the people right now are wearing sunglasses over their glasses. <laughs> It's fine. It's a little bit smart. Uh, Cole. Yeah. I'm Cole. And I play our very gay brow bard, Shahara, who got a smoosh last week. That hasn't been talked about yet. I'm ready to be gay and do oh, heist. No. We're not going to talk about it. Peak lesbian. It's either that or we get the U-Haul. It's. I mean, we already live together. Oh shit, we skipped that. <laughs> we skipped it up. We oh my god, wait a minute. We, you, picked, you picked the same floor as me, though. Wow. Lived on the same floor, and we were both girls. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm the DM. I'm Colin. Hello. Um, but I'll save like all proper intro, all the proper introduction stuff for the end of the episode. For now, let's go into the intro and we'll get right into things. And we will.
Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, so, recap. Last session. A lot, ha a lot happened last session. Um, what did it open with? <laughs> I always forget we what the sessions open with specifically. Started. <laughs> uh, we were split up. We were splitting up and scouting. Right. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, no. Yep. The party started mm -hmm. uh, scouting out, looking for at these various locations marked on the map, only to discover a series of empty, what seemed like safe houses of some sort, at least where someone, a small sized humanoid, was hiding out. Uh, but that after that, and simply fi and finding a few notes regarding uh, the incorporeal and this uh, figure written in gnomish, uh, they made their invitations and and opened for the first time the incorporeal. Uh, there were several people there. However, upon further investigation, they found that there were a few members of the Zentarim hanging around, uh, and that uh, the gnome was moving earlier than expected and they were here to look out for him. Uh, with a series of various performances, conversations, and a very nice dance, uh, the party successfully opened the incorporeal, uh, only to have it interrupted by uh, the gnome moving towards the inn and a figure moving to intercept him, and a third figure throwing a, f uh, a small bead which erupted into a fireball. Uh, and combat quickly ensued, and uh, the gnome was unfortunately killed, but Erstel was very quickly apprehended. And the I lived, quickly, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> and the party quickly yoinked the stone uh, from his possession uh, and sent him to be arrested by the Blackstaff, who was attending the event. Uh, the figure on the roof, uh, being Pierre Belange, was set free and then also uh, also given away stone there's cold there's a reason for that though <laughs> still cold. Uh, but yeah Oops. and the party uh, finished up the night and converged uh with a decent amount of earnings from the uh from the opening night uh had toku attuned to the stone upon which she heard a voice speaking into her head where the stone introduced itself as galore and yeah, that's I think that's what we'll, where we pick up pretty much. Yep. Um, did we were we like heading to our rooms when Toko heard the voice? Or like were we uh, in bed? Or were we uh, just, like, would we have already gone to bed because we, we were running home so. for the night and it takes like an hour to attune? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. So it wasn't Can... like in front of us. How? How long were we partying at the bar? I mean, probably I, all, I, all night. What? I, I, I would like a concrete number because I mm. I have a, a, a five hour telepathic link with Toka. Ah. Uh. I wouldn't hear it, but you might be able to ping me like, oh my God, someone else in my brain. Let no. me roll a D6. Okay. Three hours. So, cool. Okay. So uh, then, including then, the. As... So I, I, by the time this happens, I lose my link with Anar and uh, Kula, but I still have five hours with Shahar and uh, Toko, unless either of you ended the link, which you can do without an action for free anytime you want. Uh, to Toko probably wouldn't have. She just wouldn't think to do it. There. Um. So, but like uh, at the end of uh, last session, Toko was like dealing with it, kind of studying it, uh, um, and then it spoke to her, mm -hmm. and she's like, "Oh, oh, I don't like that." Uh. Oh, and no, she's go, a like, little friendly guy. It did, no, it did not sound like a little friendly guy. <laughs> not if like I a sexy man. Correctly, I no. Yes. Um. <laughs> Just the, no. <laughs> a sexy man inside your. That is a wow. rock. <clears throat> um. I, I didn't say I'm it was a rock. sexy. Man. I said it sounded like. One. That's true too. Okay, but you're a sexy rock. 
<laughs> <laughs> and you already have a look, girlfriend, so I'm I like, was confused for look, a minute. I was like, that rock was the 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 stone. I was like, that was not a sexy rock. That was a toe. <laughs> like, look, a toe. even though Galore looks like a burnt chicken nugget, he's <laughs> himself. <laughs> But she is probably going to ping Hannah then, like, um, are, are the magic rocks sub usually supposed to, you know, um, speak in your mind like grown men? Um, no, not typically. Um, well, this one does. You hear, you hear a voice of, not all magic rocks talk, but I do. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> no, not this all rock rocks. is hot as fuck. Hello? <laughs> like, shut up. Shut up. I'm having a conversation. Do I hear that also? Probably. <laughs> okay, okay. Not you, the rock. Okay. Um right. Okay. Do we call like a meeting, like a like a group meeting? No, I think everyone's pretty tired. Um I think I am going to uh shove it in a um sock drawer and we can pick it up tomorrow. Cool. Let's. Um, yeah. A okay. Rude first impression, if I do say so myself. But I'm sorry. A bunch of people are trying to kill each other to get you, and I'm then aware. I attuned to you because I don't have anything, and I wasn't expecting voice. So I might need a little time to process. This is really weird. Uh <laughs> talking to you telepathically and hearing you telepathically talking to someone else it's wild it is okay, it is so a new feeling I, yeah it's is it, it would be far less weird if i could hear the stone as well which you said i, I am not rude. i mean you aren't planning to shove them in a sock drawer that's uh not typically what polite but do? it's also a wise decision exactly mm. Just because just cause you're rude doesn't... Can he... Okay, fine. I... Can he hear you? Can you hear her? Hear who? Okay, so we're fine. <laughs> okay, so no. Cool. Insight um, check on the rock. Okay. Make an insight check. <laughs> so, like, Mr. Rock, um... Natural 20 like. for a 26. <laughs> hey! Well, you're pretty confident I mean, the rock wisdom. cannot hear, Jenna. Hold on, what's my inside now? It's still a plus six. I thought that would have changed. It did change. I thought it was a plus five before. Hold on, let me... You we leveled up, everybody? We are. Oh, we yeah. Did. I think the front of the party leveled up to four. Uh, yeah, so it's plus seven, so it is a 27. <laughs> yeah, but... So, pretty confident the rock cannot hear. Okay, it does not seem like he can hear you. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, um, yeah, maybe put it in a sock drawer, and then we'll figure out what to do. I don't know. Okay, well, good night. Night, I'll keep an eye out to make sure no one tries to break into a place and steal it from your sock drawer. Okay. Should we put it in the um, bag of holding? Just in case. Probably wise, but uh I think I think Kula has passed up. Oh. Could I sneak into Kula's room just to stick the rock in the bag of holding? Sure. For the things, yeah. We'll say Kula is out cold right now. Okay, great, fantastic. So it's in there. Like, okay, we will talk to you in the morning. Um, this mm -hmm. is not a sock drawer, it is a bag of holding. So like I guess it's more comfortable. I do have a question to ask all of you, first of all. What's your character's greatest desire? Oh, fuck me running. I don't know. Just like that? Apropos Just... of nothing? Cool, cool, you cool. couldn't have given us some heads up so we could prepare? Uh, listen, I may or may not have just read a particular thing on <laughs> a thing. Oh, oh. So, oh, oh, so you didn't prepare. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I love Yo! you. <laughs> the man is doing his best to bring us this, 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 I don't know what this is, story. My brain, I've just, my I've just written just, that down. This man, this man is bringing me something. I don't know what it is, but he brought it. Yeah. Okay, so how dare you? <laughs> Fuck me, running. <laughs> my brain.
brain was literally just TV static for a minute. Mm. <laughs> just, Colin is perfect and beautiful and wonderful and yes. apparently a very good hot rock. So just yeah. apparently, just, don't have to answer it now. Just <clears throat> start thinking about it. Okay. Uh, that being said, you are putting the stone in the back holding, yeah? Yes. And just kind of leaving it there overnight? Yes. All right, to make sure little, no one can like Your tomb will break it. from it during that time. Uh, I need you to make a wisdom save. Oh, hey, you're good what do you those. mean? Wait, mm -hmm. but I'm only setting it in there for a night. How, yeah, we, how does we that established we could the attunement? put it in and out. Uh, I, well, I think I mentioned that if you leave it in there for an extended period of time, it does. Uh, also, that being ah. said, sentient items are allowed to break their attunement to their uh, attuners. Ah, shit. You're so right. He's a... Not a fan. I of, said I was gonna get him in the morning. Wait, so place. wait, so this is a hot God. rock that might leave me in the morning. God, wow. no, <laughs> Liv. 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 I don't like the way you said that. What does that mean? Oh. It means that it's exactly my type because I have terrible taste in men. <laughs> That's what it means. So an eleven honest. plus seven is an eighteen. Eighteen. You're killed instantly. No. <laughs> My okay. phone yeeted itself. It doesn't want to be involved with me and my bullshit. Nothing happens. You okay, okay. okay. <laughs> you succeed the save, but you're still killed instantly. Somehow the failed save was worse? <laughs> All right. Uh, with that, you wake up the next morning. Uh, <clears throat> what do you all want to do the next morning? Mm -hmm. Um. Actually, night before, as Shahara's going to her room. Do I see Anar? Uh, that's good. That's a question for Anar, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, I know we were just talking about it for like uh, mechanics reasons. How how long do we really think like last night's party went? Probably like definitely a, a couple hours for sure. Like we'll, we'll, I rolled a three. We'll say three hours. Okay, three hours. Would there have been other taverns and bars still open? Maybe a few. Then no, I'm not home. Gotcha. Ooh. The Ani portal is always open. But, uh, Interesting. Um, going fratty with it. I think Shahara's gonna leave. Sorry. The rose um, at her door and go to bed. <laughs> Does Anar return to the inn eventually, though? Yeah, like, I think, like, just shy of noon. Right, oh, gotcha. fuck. Oh, man. <laughs> Anar comes like, walking in um in <laughs> and like in a hoodie and sweatpants now um this is a fantasy <laughs> setting but but essentially that big fucking mood like she has her like um if she has like a cloak of some kind i think she has like pulled over her head um just still in the clothes from last night just a mess and like shuffles in to the inn hung over to helen back <laughs> yes <laughs> um yeah and just stumbles in and takes a seat at um one of the tables um just to she, there was a long walk so she's just gonna sit there and like <sighs> breathe before she has to climb the stairs which is gonna be another battle and a half <laughs> so would the um, incorporeal be open today? Because we said we're doing brunch through night. Oh my god! I just got, I got it. Yes. I got there in time for brunch, and we are brunch. <laughs> it is open. It's probably not a heavy crowd when it comes to the brunch crowd, but I don't really. It's crowd. nice. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. Um, Toko probably wants to have like a meeting. <laughs> okay. Um, question, I'm sitting there with from, my eggs. Question from chat is, was it a walk of shame or just an unbelievable sesh? <laughs> unbelievable sesh. It was just a long night. Was, <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. she just went... <laughs> to ham. So ham. To ham. Mm-hmm. 
I'm a little bit of a jerk. I'm not that much of a jerk. <laughs> You're just a frat boy. It's little a frat, frat rock. Boy. Little fratty rock. <laughs> I, my least favorite uh, Muppets spinoff. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the um, Avenue Q version. I feel like Shahara's n- not downstairs yet. Mm-hmm. I feel like she came down in the morning and went back up to her room. They'll probably have the equivalent of like a private area where you can talk, just like a private room, etc. Off shooting, like behind the bar or something. Yeah, the back space. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. If when an R gets word that like. If there's going to be a meeting. She just scoops up her food and goes into the office and plumps down and just keeps eating, head down. Gehenna is here eating. Girl, you're making me so I'm sorry. Y'all. <laughs> I have not eaten today. So. Yeah. We're going to let it go. Welcome, welcome, to, welcome yeah. to our mukbang. I- God. Toko's definitely going to look at Anon and go like, oh, you look like shit. <laughs> Um, just a night, long night. Why? Because the rest of the group wanted to keep drinking, and I didn't see why not. And then I ended up like crashing at the barracks, and those beds are not nearly as comfortable. So, okay. Um, well, while you were doing that, I talked to a rock. Sorry this stone um it sounds like a grown man and i do not like that in my head yeah i would hate having just like a man's voice in my head all the time that would suck exactly um make that joke (laughs) (laughs) so i'm trying to figure out what to do about bait um it is in Kula's um, bag of holding currently, and I think we're waiting for Shaher. Mm. Maybe I should go check on her and see if she's willing to come down. Is everything okay? Uh, she, I mean, she didn't. She's not down here right now, so I think we just might need to go get her. Yeah, okay. you know, um, unless like you want to go get her. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. No, There's that's so fine. many stairs. It's so far. Wait for yeah, Toko to leave on. the room. No, wait. Hold on. I'm gonna. <laughs> what do I got? What do I got? What do I got? What do you mean? What do you got? <laughs> uh, restoration. I do have less restoration. <laughs> oh, I was gonna do a thing while I was in my room, but I got my character sheets mixed up again. I do not have sending. <laughs> Not a spell that I have. Do you have message? No, it's that's no. way out of. I mean, I have message. It's just way out of range. A message, one hundred twenty feet. This is like this is not that big of a bar. You could probably do that. Oh no no no! I was thinking of someone else. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. Yeah 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 yeah. Weirdly, okay. the only person with a third level spell slot is the rogue. Yeah, <laughs> Hold on. The fuck. Is it spell slot. <laughs> well, not spell slot. Third level spell. Okay, okay. So I'm probably gonna tap or like press a hand oh, on top I of Lenar's a head with like a like a pat and, and give her a a lesser restoration. Thank you. Try to, try to help you, with that. You're much more energized now. Like mm-hmm, head, probably mm-hmm. the splitting headache you have goes away. Yeah. Yeah. Fun fact. And then I go upstairs to go go get Shahara. Fun fact, Live the Player has never had a hangover, so I don't know what they feel like. Terrible. Well, Awful. Mm, sometimes if I've had like too much wine, my head hurts in the morning. But I think that's a sugar thing. Anyway. I'm, I'm. I don't a, drink, so I haven't been drunk. Period. I'm a super, so. super yeah. lightweight, so I don't, and I have stomach issues, so I don't even know if I'm a correct. <laughs> <laughs> I got hungover and I was sick for like three days. Yeah. Oh no! My, Zero out of ten. Not my, worth it. My head hurts when I drink, but the next morning I'm usually fine. Yeah, it's just, it's wine for me, which sucks because I love mimosas, but... I mean, I usually sober up before I go to bed, so... 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, honest. I try to sober it before I go to bed. I try to. I mean, well. kind of against my will because I'm not trying to, but it happens. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, anyway, um, um, and our feels better. Yeah. Does Toko, did, did Toko leave the room yet? Yeah. Why okay. Why do I feel like I'm about to get, sh- about to get shovel talked? <laughs> <laughs> ah! you, yeah. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> motherfucker. Okay. What the fuck was that last night, huh? Kiss, and then you walk out for the entire fucking night? Oh. Uh, nothing? You got nothing? You I'm, got nothing to say? I don't see why it's that bad. You don't see why it's that It was... we. I was gonna come home. I didn't plan on being out all night. You, you see how that's worse, right? <laughs> I didn't do anything. That's good. Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to insight check? Does the player know it's true? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Uh, I'm not the one you have to convince it at. Is she really upset? I don't know. I haven't seen her yet. So why are you getting on me if she's well, not that upset? That doesn't bode well. Oh. It's she's, she's usually the one down there bright and early. We only need four hours of rest. We're awake for the rest of y'all motherfuckers by far. <laughs> and she was not down there when we went down there. That's a bad sign. I don't think it's that. I mean, I, don't, I hope it's not that big of a deal. You know what? <laughs> I hope so too. But you can. You can, you're not, hmm. <laughs> can you, can you see the way she looks at you? Or is that not in sort of, okay, so you can, okay. So we've even talked. if it's, we've talked, we've talked. That's good. I'm, I'm happy for you. Even if it's not that big of a deal for you, it might be a big deal for her. Once again, I can't put words in her mouth, but also I'll kick your ass. <laughs> You break her heart, I'll kick your ass. I do not care how now, badass you think you are. You and I both know that I could take you in a fight, first of all. So you think. Get off that griffin, let's see how that goes. I beat your ass before I had a griffin. No, you didn't. It was a draw. It was a draw. It was a draw. But this time... <laughs> this time I I I can shoot bullets with my mind. I, can I can't have my griffin and you can't have your mind. <laughs> you can't have your mind knives. Hold on. That's two very different things. No, it's not. That is two very different I think it just devolves into very like, <laughs> yeah. They, yeah, like they, wait, they do wait, like wait. each other. As much as yes. as much as Jehenna was like shovel talking, they're also yeah. they are bros. <laughs> We're bros. It devolves into, I could kick your ass if I wanted to. I just don't want to. Yeah, literally. But My dad time... could beat up your dad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My mind powers time... could beat up your griffin. <laughs> By the time Toko comes around, it's literally just being like, okay, okay, well, fine. Let's switch the situation around. I have my knives. You have a griffin. You can't ride one. Like, <laughs> just, just yelling. <laughs> That's the most pointless conversation. Both probably uh, also laughing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, getting Shahar, what's the, so where it's so Shahar? I probably did grab a plate of food mm-hmm. on my way up. Cool, cool. And I'm gonna, like, gently knock on her door. Shahar, are you there? Um, no. And, um, you hear what? <laughs> No, I'm not there. <laughs> oh, no, I heard, are you dead? <laughs> No, I said, are you there? <laughs> are you there? No. <laughs> no. No, I heard, are you dead? And I was like, um, no, I'm here. Um, I'm crying. You hear shuffling around and Shahara will come to the door. Hey. 
hey, how are you doing? You weren't downstairs. I brought you some brunch. Oh, thank you. I was about to come down. Um, I was working on something. But oh, is it? What are you working on? A spell. Oh, <gasps> nice. How's it coming along? Not good. I don't think oh. it's part of my class. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know. You went to class for magic? <laughs> I don't think it's something I can learn, but I'm gonna try anyway and see where it gets me. Okay, okay. Um, if you ever want some help, or like support, I'm available. Uh, Kula knows some things, so he might be available. If he asks Sometimes. me, I'll make sure to tell him you said he knows everything. No. Do not tell him that. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> I have a reputation. Um, but I did bring you food, just in case you hadn't eaten yet today. Um, also, Anara's back. Oh. Was heavily hungover. I fixed that. Mm. Um, I saw she seems like come yeah. back this morning. Says she just um, bar hopped with the... Uh, Mm, friends. Yeah, with the with the um the other Griffin people. <laughs> Why are you guys say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. It's it's insight fine. check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> deceptive. The most insightful versus the most deceptive. That's the. Oh god, like, but I rolled a two. Plus I also six. Just, as a side note, love that. Ah, technically... Four plus seven. <laughs> six, seven, eight. I got an eight. Oh, and you got a seven plus. Okay. Yeah. No, you uh, no. Yeah, she's, yeah, yeah, yeah. she's 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 a little upset. <laughs> Sad. Not really like angry or anything, just kinda like, oh, okay. Hey, um, you know it's okay if you want to talk. I have such a hard time talking sometimes. I guess after last night we would talk about it, but I don't know. Maybe maybe it wasn't anything, and I shouldn't read into it. No, 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 no. Um, I know, and I have known for a while because I'm very good at this kind of thing. Um. Anard likes you so much. And I don't think her bar hopping had anything to do with you in the most nice way possible that that sounds. <laughs> no, that makes sense. I'm trying not to read no, I know. into I know. it. Because I, you know, I want to get to know her more. I really like her. I really, really like her. Um... But yeah, I don't know if what's happened in her past or if maybe that was too soon, too fast. And she was... Well, I mean, she is the one who kissed you, remember? <laughs> yeah, but... I don't know, maybe sometimes you think you're ready for something and you're not. I... Perhaps... I, I can't put words in the nurse's mouth, but I, I don't think that's it. I think she just got a little too rowdy with some friends. That's also true. Uh, and I will say she is not the sharpest rock in the pile sometimes. <laughs> she could, you know, be a little dense. <laughs> um, so she may have literally just not thought about it. That is also true. So, uh, love her to death. She does not think everything through. Uh, I mean, neither do I. Who do any of us really? No, um, I don't. Yeah, but I act first. You part because <laughs> if it has a in real life at all, which it looks like it has, you should definitely have a conversation later. If she's up for it, yeah. Communication is important. 
Also, here's food. And um, The Rock talks. The other one, not the, your girlfriend. I mean, the stone. What is it? Is it bad? I mean, it sounds like a grown man. I don't know what I expected. That wasn't it. No, not me either. Did it threaten you? Are we smashing no. it? No. <laughs> Introduced itself. I wasn't having it. Um, I put it in Kula's um, bag of holding, and so I'm going to go get that. Okay. Here is your food. Go ahead, and everyone's kind of in the back office area. Um, if you want to go down and, and see them while I go grab that. Or you can stay here and eat a little bit. That's totally fine. I'll go down with everyone else. Probably should come out of my room. Okay, no problem. Do you want um, me to go with you? Is it mad at you for putting it in a bag? It might be. It called me rude. It called you rude. This is a conversation that we're having. <laughs> um, I, it'll be fine. I'm going to go grab it. Um, also, and she kind of moves in and gives you a hug. Oh, like big bear hug. Oh, Shahara, Shahara absolutely hugs you back. Yes, Shahara loves hugs. She'll never say it out loud, but she does. <laughs> so when she finally pulls back, she's like, "We all care about you so much." If an R ever makes you sad, I will personally drop kick her into the next century. <laughs> <laughs> that also goes the other way around. But it's we already go. talking a lot of shit. Like I got an 18 <laughs> strength. Okay. I also okay. said it goes the other way around. <laughs> Fair enough. You are both my go. friends. I care about you both very much. Neither of you need to be shitty. Mm -hmm. Like I said, communication is the most important. All right, go. Shoo. Thank you, Toko. I love you. I love you, too. I'll head downstairs. And I'll grab the rock. <laughs> You're on the ground. You can't see shit. Your griffin can't. <laughs> I, listen, underground, underground. I'm a bitch. I was waiting for underground. Are you kidding me? Are you th think? Think, Jehenna, think. Why would I be bad underground? I'm a can rock. you see? Insert can you see me? <laughs> yeah. <Insert> invincible me. <laughs> yes. Or you merely uh, came into the, the, the ground. I was raised in it. Molded <laughs> by it. I, no, oh, I was God. raised on the ground, motherfucker. <laughs> right as Shahar listen, opens listen, the door. Listen, yeah, right listen. as Shahar comes in the Land, <laughs> sea, sky. <laughs> catch these hands, Jenna. Just catch them. <laughs> Hi, hi, how you doing? <laughs> Is everything okay? Oh yeah, you know, just how we how how. Needs <laughs> <laughs> to avoid talking. Should I? Do we need a drink this morning? Do I do coffee with no, whiskey? No, God, please. Oh <laughs> no. Regular coffee. Um. I heard that helps. Uh, why well, don't? Yeah, I'll get us coffee. Um, and <laughs> oh no, I can do it! I can do it! I said I was gonna do it. She'll set her plate down and she'll go make coffee because also she wants coffee. So. <laughs> Anar looks at the other two and then follows Shahara. Puts it around in the kitchen. <laughs> nice. <laughs> What <laughs> spell like <laughs> rock? <laughs> um, and she like comes up behind you, or not behind you, like comes up next to you, and her head is just like down, and she's just like, "Look, um, I didn't, I didn't think, um, and I didn't really consider what me not staying." here last night would look like or imply um honestly it was just that like the rest of the crew wanted to or like, the rest of the cavalry wanted to go down to the yawning portal um because they stay open later and i was gonna come back but then like at that point i was really drunk and people were like we'll just come back to the barracks and we'll drink more Sahara puts a hand and on I, yours 
It's okay. I I mean, I I won't say that I didn't think about it, but I wanted to hear from you first. And of course you can go have fun with your friends. I just wasn't sure where I stood. Yeah, I mean, I guess talking is probably a good thing. Because, <laughs> you know, peop- everybody else used as terms and titles and those like words around, but we've never really talked about it between the two of us. We haven't. And maybe we just... I'm comfortable whatever pace you want to move at. If you want to... Or if there isn't the pace. Well, I mean... We already live together, so... <laughs> Every, I mean, this whole group. We were strangers, and then business partners... And now we're friends. Well, it's really nice, but Mm -hmm. we've all been doing it backwards. (laughs) I'm also sorry that I kissed you in the middle of a performance. That seemed like a lot. In retrospect. I mean, I was okay with it. I did kiss you back. Her face, (laughs) she sort sorts a short circuit at the memory. (laughs) Um, yeah, (laughs) yeah, yeah. Um, I will be more thoughtful. I'm not not very used to. Including other people in my thought process and and having to really consider other people's feelings and how my life impacts theirs. Um, I'm not, I've never seen or been around a relationship, you know? Like you talk about your dad and, and I sounds like they love each other and they love you. You're amazing. How could anybody not? <laughs> But um, I never saw a relationship growing up. And the relationships I did see were not fair and not right. And we don't have to talk about that. But I guess what I'm trying to say is there's a lot of figuring out um, and, and things that maybe seem really obvious to other people, but not to me. So... I'm sorry for all the mistakes I know I'm going to keep making. That's okay. But, um, and thank you for sharing that. And... Uh, yeah. I... I want to figure it out with you. Okay. And... um one step at a time, yeah? Yeah. Um, and she is going to, like, sneak up and, like, behind, not sneak up, but, like, scoot up behind you and, like, rest her chin um, in, like, the crook of your shoulder. Just so, what kind of coffee are you making? Um, I've noticed that you like this one more, so I was going to make this one. Yeah. See, this is what I mean. You're, like, really thoughtful. Which one is your favorite? Mm. I don't know. I kind of like... These ones are definitely roasted too much. It's way too dark. Okay. And I like a good dark roast, but like that... Don't tell them that I said that. I don't know who brought that one in. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. I will drink it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's not your favorite. No. <laughs> okay okay um yeah i don't know i'm not okay well now i know which ones to not bring you when i bring you coffee in the morning so <laughs> we'll just try a couple of different ones, couple of different ones out 
<laughs> Incredible. I hate this pink background. Get out of here. <laughs> um, Shahara will turn and kiss your cheek. Oh. Um, yeah, I think Anar just like after that wraps her arms around um, uh, Shahara's waist and just hangs out with her while they make coffee. Incredible. Bury you motherfuckers thought I was gonna leave you hurt only. Come on now. You know your girl's gonna serve up some sapphic content. Let's go. Of course. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm just, my character's just an asshole. Yeah. Somebody was like, I'm not used to thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Anar's, yeah. Anar grew up kind of selfish, not gonna lie. You did I say that, that almost. Oh, okay. It was great. Oh my yeah. gosh, after session. I love anyway. this. Yeah. What do you all do next? I seem to gather up around the table and probably just like throw the stone in the middle and just kind of like look at it for a second. Toko's like got the stone and she's like trying to talk to it and she's like squinting at it, trying to think at it too. And like shaking it like, why is it not talking anymore? Are you attempting to attune to it while you do so? Uh, probably. All right. Did you... I don't think she realizes she unattuned. <laughs> yeah, looking at it then for a second, it's like, then you get a response of, when you throw me in a bag like that, uh, the connection kind of breaks a bit. Why? It was like one night. I just... I'm not allowed to sleep. I'd rather be not thrown in an extra-dimensional space. That's so people can't find you. There's a lot of people trying to find you. Not many people know where I am, do they? No. But people who have held you might be able to, like, I don't know, scry. <laughs> Whatever that spell is. I just hear, like, a laugh of, like, almost confidence, like, that's not going to happen. So. Okay. I need to roll a thing for someone. So now I'm chatting to a rock. <laughs> I have a stupid I. You know what? No, I will save this in character. I have a stupid idea. You say a rock talks to you, right? Yes, we're talking right now. Wild. Can I... I want to see if I can also talk to the rock. Can I try and mind link to the rock? <laughs> Do I need... It's not considered a creature. Okay. But I'll allow it, considering the, considering the circumstances of the rock. Cool. It's sentient. As a mind. Okay. I think I'm. I think I'm just gonna close the circuit between me, the rock, and Doko. Gotcha. Uh, because I don't. I don't know who else would be beneficial to also be part of this. <laughs> you know, the telepathic part, at least. Um, That's four hours that I am now <laughs> connected to this rock. Um. Unless the rock wants to kick me out earlier or immediately, it's it fine. could end it without an action. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. Can you hear me? But all internal. Hmm. Another telepath. Interesting. Aha! <laughs> so. Hello. And I, I'll, I will say this uh, both out loud and telepathically to the rock. So I'm now connected to this conversation too. I can hear it too. I don't know why I did that. I just wanted to see if I could. <laughs> uh, so experimentation. Yes. Um, yeah. Who are you? I am Galore. That is my name. Isn't that a common word meaning a lot? They're not spelt that way, but I get your point. I mean, you are the key to apparently untold riches. That true? <laughs> Perhaps. Vague answer. No, you're right. This is it. Full, fully grown ass man's voice in your head. I've I've gotten used to it, but no, I can definitely see this is disconcerting. She says out loud. You just, hear yes. another laugh. you just hear another laugh at that. 
Yeah. Especially in the middle of the night after a party. Hmm. Okay, so, um, to Tahar and Anar, uh, this is Galor. He is a rock. Wait, what are your pronouns? Uh, uh. <laughs> My liege. No. <laughs> We're not doing that again. <laughs> That's a second person pronoun. That's not very helpful. They, them. Right. He, they? We'll, with, we'll go with they, them, because I am unsure. <laughs> don't. Okay. don't. <clears throat> All right, so pronouns they, it them would for gender, Galore. Would it? So not a grown-ass man. Okay. Grown-ass person. A grown-ass being. Yeah. Sorry for the misgendering. Um, <laughs> I mean... Uh, <laughs> I'm a rock. Well, okay, we're going to go with <laughs> All right, for the sake of this and considering things I know, we're going to go with any pronouns. Any pronouns. Cool. Uh, cool. Okay. Just for the, just for the sake of you can't misgender this rock. <laughs> Incredible. Don't misgender the rock. Incredible. I have LGBT. more information that I know. It's just a matter of like, yeah. <laughs> LGBTQIA plus stream into this... deep counseled for misgendering rock. <laughs> <laughs> Audience surprised it wasn't the player. <laughs> oh, my oh my god. I please don't cancel us. Please. <laughs> please anyway. don't cancel my shout of serotonin. We respect <laughs> all rocks. <clears throat> okay. But yes, this is Galore. Um <laughs> That's kind of all we've gotten so far. They're not like they're being very vague. Yeah. So what's your whole deal? Galore? You got the three eyes, is that what do you what do you do? Why why are you a sentient key? That's an important question. So many questions and a lot of questions. Yes, I have many answers. That is my purpose: answers and knowledge. Mm. What do you unlock? Well, I wouldn't give away information that easily. But wait, can can you hear him too now? I just uh, asked it. I mean, Char yeah. doesn't hear that, but. Okay. Yeah, I just asked it uh, and then hoping that um, they would relay. They're saying that they I've, want okay. the info away freely. I don't really know what that means. Do um, you need money? You're a rock. What do you want? Seems that, well, there would be a way to get these answers, but it would require use of this stone's properties. How okay, so there's it? no, like swearing eternal fealty or anything the last time i tried that it no. ended poorly no mm. i'm already loyal to a lord so i can't do that yeah. well i guess two because mr kula mm. interesting no i still i still do not believe that thing is authentic i think we need to take that to an authenticator I, so until it is filed in the court you are not yes. How would one utilize this rock to get the answers to the questions? Well, one must be connected to me. And then a simple series of... I'm going to cast the old wall on this. Uh, action. <clears throat> cast that, I'm checking. Just cast it's like the spell. Ten, I think this takes the spell takes like ten minutes. Takes, takes ten minutes. A short period of time focusing, and then you may ask information about what I may know. Okay. Unfortunately, okay. the stone's enchantment prevents me from freely giving away such information. Mm. All right. Oh, so so out of character, so just, you have to yeah. reattune. Uh, no. Currently, Toby no, no, no. is attuned. So, oh, uh, oh, I, I thought. Oh, I thought um, it got broken. Then, then, uh, yeah, she reattuned already. Ah, okay. It's because I stuck it in the but bag. But you do have to be attuned unattuned. in order to use this feature. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm the one. Who Even though I can talk, questions. I can't ask. So, 
obviously we're like telling you what the rock is saying um the rock <laughs> mr <Yeah>. johnson <laughs> edge of it killed me <laughs> mix johnson oh god um so hmm i looked to them should i try to use the rock like he's saying or they're saying or yes um to understand the rock mode? Like, should I ask about Galore? I, what's, what's the sort of price you pay to ask the question? It's just, a, you know, 10 minutes question? That seems... It says like we just focus for 10 fair. minutes. I'm gonna... I mean, I think the only way to find out is to do it at least once. Hold on. Johanna, Johanna's gonna like stare intently at the rock, looking at trying to figure out, and suddenly her eyes start to glow a little in the same sort of purplish red kind of maroon light as the daggers. And um, I am casting detect magic, even though Johanna is not trying to. Gotcha. All right. Uh, stone does detect it's magical. Uh, in terms of school, what would you be looking at here? Probably a combination of conjuration and abjuration. I, I mean, and then a teensy little bit of divination. It's a little bit of divination. Okay. So, is this thing, this thing is abjurative in nature, is this trapped how do i know that is this thing glowing what is happening no no, no. you're you are glowing though mm -hmm. yeah your eyes you cast a spell uh, oh I'll, I'll have that conversation later i will figure that out i have mm, 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 mm. okay as long as there's no like Soul cost, I guess you could ask. No soul cost? No soul cost. Don't like I don't like the way you said that. I just well, don't like the way they speak. Well, we don't necessarily have to ask the rock. I could I don't know how to explain this in character. I still have that question. <laughs> could I ask Sky like Daddy? We can Wait until it's much more important for you to use it. I agree. It's, but at the same like I don't know. It's I, I'm I'm a little worried about a cost. It usually doesn't come free and especially not information from random rocks that fall out of people's pockets that everyone is trying to get. Yes, free information is why people are after it. No, but it's a key. That's why people are after it. I'm going to hold up the rock, and I'm going to look at it. <laughs> I'm going to stare at it, and I'm like, I would like to tell me about yourself. The Stone of Galore. Right. And I'm going to cash, use it to do Legend Lore. Spend ten minutes, and you spend a charge from the stone. It's done two mm -hmm. charges now to cast a Legend Lore. Excellent. As you hear its Smart. kind of voice like ring throughout your mind when the spell gets cast, it just simply says... I am a being of ancient existence, dominator of many, and emperor to some. I gather knowledge, and that is why many seek me. Did I hear that? No, that would be just him. Cool, cool. Was that it? That was it. Oh, God damn it. Being of ancient existence, dominator of mem many, emperor of some. He I love how we're all in. That's why he is the... And so in character, everybody else is taking notes and I'm just making dumb jokes. 
absolutely incredible. Yeah. See it. Love a dumb joke. There's just there's Oh my god, going, I read your dumb joke. Uh, there's something that's going to make all of your comments so much better just considering I know you. <laughs> oh no. It, hmm. Why am I on this show? <laughs> somebody somebody counts my contracts. <laughs> Right. Never. No. No. Never. No. All right. That's the information you get. Remarkably that vague. Remarkably vague, considering I spent the stupid thing you're saying. Do I feel any different? Is did anything change? No. Am I okay? Seemingly. <laughs> All right. Nothing is different. And I got the shitty answer. Oh. I guess that's why it's free information, because it's not that useful. Should Maybe I have to be more specific? Oh, good idea. Good idea. Um, wait, how many times can I ask you things? There's a limit per day, but right now, two more times should suffice. Okay, okay. Um, and does anything bad happen when I expend all of the char the, 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 the times? No. It just takes time to recharge. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I explained this to the others. That's okay. Yeah, important. So should I go ahead and ask what lady is a key to? Well, we know we know it's a key to Dagalt Neverember's whole ship. Oh, yeah. Where do we unlock the treasure? Where is the key? Where do we put the Where's the keyhole? <laughs> Perhaps maybe instead how we unlock that old never embers uh it, it, it Oh shit. <laughs> Where and how? Well, I think I only get one question. I think how would include where. I would hope so. You would need to know where to do the how. Because otherwise these stones not exactly as helpful as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, fair. It's been Apparently, va very vague, even in the answer. <gasps> Is it like a genie? Prideful. Except instead of giving you shitty outcomes, it just gives you shitty answers if you're not specific enough? I guess so, yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> How do we unlock Dagult Never Ember's hidden treasures? Like with you, what, what, or not, maybe not with you, just like how do we get it? Keys of three are required to pass the threshold, no more, no less. First, a bar of unbreakable metal, green in hue. Second, the bronze scale of a creature banished from water deep. Last, the presence of a one horned celestial, rare and mythical. A fucking unicorn? I mean, yes, it is the symbol of... But... I, if... Um... So do you... Do you tell us the three? The keys of three? Well, yeah, I tell everyone everything. Okay. Colin. Yes. I know something about Waterdeep that I'm not sure if it's common knowledge about Waterdeep. Mm. I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Make a history check. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I don't, I, I don't want to use meta knowledge. Can I help with that, seeing as I like grew up in here? I'd say so, yeah. Cool. There you go. Yeah. I'll just take advantage. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I have 
proficiency in history, so I cannot add anything. Oh, <laughs> they were both 14s, so 15. 15. Didn't you tell us that that's your DC for everything? Yeah, I, I just said that. The one I go to generally just on the spot, but... But I mean, if this, this is like is, some This is a bit more rare. esoteric knowledge. Mm. Yeah, I just thought it was funny it was that number. Okay. You, feel like, you feel like there's something there, like you've heard something before, uh, but you're yeah. completely... You're not like... You're just on the tip of your tongue. Okay. Would we know somebody who might have more information about it? It could be plenty of people. Yeah, um, I mean, it's what a day in history. Yeah, I think there are local libraries in the city. So. Yeah. But yeah, I would say at the very most, you know, there's something about water having history that relates to uh, to that second. I assume it's the second statement you're referring to. Yeah, something that's been banished from water deep. Yeah, bronze scale of something that's been banished from water. Is it? This is in character. Is it possibly like scales of justice? Like some some judge that was banished, or is it like a dragon? You know what I mean? That's what I thought of. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it, it, yeah, it could be a dragon scale. There are there are bronze dragons, right? That is that something I would know? Because I think our neighbor is a bronze dragonborn. Right, he's gold dragonborn. Oh, okay. Mm. But it would make sense that if there's a gold yeah dragon, you probably know there are bronze dragons yeah yeah there there are bronze dragons but uh that's a that's a possibility but um, and what about this metal yeah. do you think the that's that's something uh that's something like uh you know adamantium or not adamantium adamantine right uh adamantine is the 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 D and D one, not the Marvel one. <laughs> yes, Adamantine is D and D, or Adamantium well, is Marvel. Yeah, Mithril oh, is something is like that. The, my first thought was the Unbreakable Rod. The Unbreakable Rod. Yeah. Oh, that's mm. the one. Yeah, that's where my brain went. Mm. Um. It was like an indestructible metal, right? I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah. I'm my not sure what something. is green, but I've I've heard you know stories. About Breakable metals, mm. or powerful metals, I should say. I haven't heard whether or not something was unbreakable. And then we need a fucking unicorn. Where are we supposed yeah. to get a unicorn? <laughs> you can ask Luru, I, I imagine. You got one. I don't think Luru is just going to plop a unicorn in my lap. Might be able to answer where the one might be, though. Also, should they ask the rock or Luru? Question for us, just because I don't think we came to a decision. But what do we want with the treasure? You know what? That's a good, good. That's a good goddamn question. Money. Yeah. I, I don't money. see why having treasure would be bad. Get it so others can't. What did Never Ember say about it? What the? We talked about it. Was, him, it was remember. once his father's. Yeah, that's, that's what I remember. What he had to say about it. Yeah, he said he didn't really know that much about it. Uh, mm. Dear old dad kept it mostly a secret. We could spread the riches amongst the city folk. Mm. <laughs> okay, fine. We also don't know what the treasure just... is. It's easy to assume it's money, but... True, true. Mm. It could be a death mm. trap. Why well, would you consider that a treasure, though? A, to lure people into it. I'm just saying, it'd be pretty nice to have, like... A whole wealth of treasure. It would, yeah. I, I'm, I'm with you on that. <clears throat> Never have to work again. Maybe it's a fountain of youth. Maybe. Mm. I mean, I, I ain't got to worry about that for another till well after y'all are dead. But um. Okay. Okay. I do have well, one more question. About it. 
we can ask where a unicorn is or how to get a unicorn. We can ask where to get, we can ask to get one of the keys. How we get we, it. Or we, we can think... ask what the treasure is. Mm, I feel like we should ask what the treasure is. I See also still have my one anything. question and I'm willing to use it, so. I'm sure we can, you know, something, there's something that rings true about something being banished from Waterdeep. We can find that in a fucking library, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Find the information, the actual, you know, finding whatever, whether it's a scale of justice or a scale off something's hide or some shit like that. Probably not going to be able to find it in a library if it was banished from Waterdeep. Well, oh, I hope it's not a Waterdavian library. Same Are dragons metal, common knowledge? Do you know dragons exist? Okay, probably that's seen, yeah. probably never probably never seen one. But. Okay, I just needed to know if I like know they exist. Um, we are playing a game called Dragon Heist. Well, yeah, but like maybe yeah, it's our like, money oh. is called dragons. Yeah, like gold coins in Waterdeep are called dragons. I think it's because yeah. they oh, have like I... an image of a dragon on them. Well, yeah. I don't know. Like maybe it's like oh, once upon a You're time valid. dragons were a thing. Like I don't know. You're valid. It's true. Um. I hope the scale thing isn't a dragon. I don't really want to fight the dragon. We don't have to necessarily fight it. We would definitely. Are you kidding? You know what, Jenna? That's fine. You don't have to Hold fight on. a dragon. Hold You're on. scared. It's Hold okay. On. You can admit Hold it. On. No, I'm not scared. Fucking snake uh -huh. shed. What's to say dragons don't, huh? What's to say dragons don't? Shed you... like scales. I'm pretty sure it's more like a. Mm. <laughs> Just you have like, the pet snake. I can't. I can't prove whether listen, you're wrong on that or not. Listen. Anyway, while Jenna sits here and deals with the, you know, consequences I'm petting petty, and by the, the, way. the fear of fighting a dragon, I'll fight a dragon. I just don't think we have to. There are better ways to do things. Mm, oh, scary. I'll fuck up a dragon. No, you can't. Oh, I'll fuck up please, a dragon. Please, a dragon would fuck you up. A dragon would eat you for breakfast and shit you out. Please. I'll fuck up a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, Ryan we are. is sitting innocently <laughs> and drinking her coffee. Just oh yeah, no, it's like for sure. Like Anar's got her arm around you, but she's like, listen. <laughs> Look, you think you could take a dragon, then? I could absolutely take a dragon. You could not take it. If you're saying I can't take a dragon and you couldn't fucking take me. I don't me, think anyone can take I could dragon. take you. I could take you. Not the game, I don't, please. I don't know who's going to win that fight. That I have no clue. Um, however, I don't <laughs> wait, think... Wait, wait, wait. You don't think I could beat Jenna? In, yes, in an can. arm contest? Absolutely. In a fight? Hard to say. You absolutely would beat her ass, but also Jehenna could probably dodge it from a mile away. Wow. Wow. And I thought you said you weren't mad at me. Wow. <laughs> no, no. She just, she knows, she knows I could kick your ass, but she's too smart to say that to your face. No. Okay. Don't drag me into <laughs> this. Like move my arm away. No. So anyways, <laughs> no. <laughs> guys, guys, please. The rock. <laughs> the rock. <laughs> I do keep going. No this is could... quite enjoyable. Uh, yeah, he's it. enjoying it. Fun. I don't think yeah. anyone could beat the dragon on their own. And you also, being I would... left it by a little stone. <sighs> Look this stone up too. <laughs> no, Please do no. not fuck yeah, up. The we stone. could take a. We could take the stone. We could take a stone. We could take a stone. We could take a stone. Please. You know what? I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, apparently the title of this episode is Catch These Motherfucking Hands! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Why Inn Coral. We serve brunch, drinks, and hands. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> and our drinks are on fire, so. So am I asking about the metal? The unicorn? Or the treasure? I think we can find out about the metal by doing research as well. Or, sorry. I, and I think... I think Find out about the metal by doing research. So I think I think we should the treasure and the unicorn. I, I think we should ask I about think, the treasure. See if it's yeah. worth our goddamn time. Yeah. Tre yeah. Treasure is the one thing we can't find on our own. You can, you know, you got, you got, you got connections with a unicorn person thing. I don't know how Luru works. My goddess. Yeah, you got, you got the hookup. I mean, she she lends me her power. I don't have, like, a direct line. You can't, like... She doesn't, like, send ambassadors? 
Could we go to a temple? I... Perhaps. Maybe I could, like, contact my mothers. Yeah, like, at a temple. Like, send ambassadors. Are we gonna go take a trip to where is you're Is there from? a Ooh. Luru temple? Uh, that maybe it's like a shrine. There is a general temple in Waterdeep for, like, all of the deities that don't have specific individual temples. Um, so she, so she probably, probably has a shrine, shrine there. Yeah. And also... Is anyone there that's, like, following <laughs> Luru, or... Is it just it's there? maintained by the general kind of clergy of Waterdeep, so there's yeah. probably not a specific. Or we take a road the trip. We take a road trip. To road road trip, my home. Trip. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Looks into I the mean, distance. sure. <laughs> Every day we wake up and figure out how the fuck can we ruin this module even more. <laughs> How can we get it's our job track? I love it. We're so good at it. Yes, we are. You're welcome, so Colin. It's because love we love you. you. I'm okay. so far off of the module at this point anyway. So. <laughs> it's like it doesn't matter anymore. We we can fully leave Waterdeep, I guess. <laughs> okay. Actually, we could probably fully leave Waterdeep and somehow get closer to the actual plot line than further. Okay, so for the treasure, am I asking where it is or what it is? What is? And I think I can ask more questions tomorrow. Is what it said. Okay, yeah, so I think... maybe let's ask what it is, and then tomorrow we can ask where, because we're not gonna leave tonight and go get it. You know. Well, we might leave tonight to start going over to your village if we want to. You know, see if they can hook us up with a. Okay, so again, I will focus on this stone. What is the the, the Dagon Never Ember st- uh, treasure? Like, what is it? You see, Never Ember stored coin upon coin in a vault beneath the city until piled high were 500,001 golden dragons. I'm gay. I can't do math. I had to count how many zeros that was. <laughs> Wait. How much was it? 500,001. 500,001. Jesus gold. fucking Christ. Stupid. <laughs> no, hold on. It was 500,001 golden dragons. That phrasing leads me to believe that <gasps> it started by, by a golden, golden dragon. dragon. <laughs> Colin, I you know who else is on our, you know uh, who else context is for, on our street? Um, a golden dragon board. Who may uh-huh. not be able to see, but Colin just put his sunglasses on and is looking <laughs> at us with a face. Yes. God, God. Um, yes. Oh my God, I'm going to fucking fuck up a dragon. Hell yeah. Hmm, <laughs> that sounds dangerous. So you don't think I can fuck up a dragon either? Oh my god. <laughs> I won't do it. I'm sorry. I will fuck you up if you keep going. <laughs> Just ready to fight today. <laughs> Listen, you shouldn't have given me that lesser restoration. I'm ready to go. I shouldn't have. I should have left you to suffer. Well, I don't know about that. That seems mean. Was. <laughs> Oh no, now I forgot to I lost count on the zeros. <laughs> it's 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 um it's, it's five zeros. Well it's four with <laughs> one in the five in the beginning. Half, yeah, and half a million and one. Or is it uh, five hundred thousand and one? Like yeah. I put right. coins and maybe a dragon in a vault me, under the city. Me, the player, thinks it's half a million bucks and a dragon. And the way Colin put his fucking sunglasses on. I would say you are correct. No, I'm going to say he did that so that we couldn't see whether he was going, oh my god, these idiots, this is the trap they're supposed to fall for, or not. You know? Okay. So there's 5,256 fucking dragons. (laughs) What? (laughs) You just made up a number. (laughs) 500,600 dragons. (laughs) 
Watch oh, Rent. It's a good musical. <laughs> <laughs> good, it's a good musical. So when's the musical <laughs> episode? Uh, no. Yesterday. <laughs> uh, I wanted to get Colin specifically. It's that. February 31st. <laughs> oh, we at least know it is definitively, it is literally just money. A fucking lot of money. It's, no, yeah. It's, That's a lot of money. More money it's than an insane of, yeah. amount of money. It's more money than God. <laughs> You never heard that expression? <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Uh, You've um, never heard that someone has more money than God? People no. Only nice to, from, people don't like me and people are only nice to me cuz I have more money than God. Um why would God have my Asia fit. Uh that one brain cell is working overtime today. <laughs> yeah. And I think that applies oh, to this sorry. collective. I think today we're just we're out here. <laughs> It's, I, Jack is not here. <laughs> so I have just... the intelligence. I don't have anything else going for me. <laughs> Lily, oh. stop hogging the brain cell then. Share. By the way, okay. I very specifically, because for reference, it does very specifically say that Gore talks, uh, the information it provides is cryptic and or vague. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, so it's uh, I it's wrote a... riddles, <laughs> in other words. <gasps> so it's a riddles. Yeah, for like when you've asked, like, oh, uh, how do we get into the vault? Blah blah blah. blah. Uh, amazing. You have to tell us what questions to ask so we can hear all your riddles. I didn't write a huge amount. I wrote for the kind of the main things. Otherwise, I bet you I've just been like improving it. So it's a Fair hot enough. rock that doms and is bad at communication. Wow. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. And okay at poetry. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, your dedication to writing is just. This is why I have the rock. I love you, Colin. <laughs> and this is this is why he missed it asking for a greatest desire. <laughs> oh yeah, we none of us ever it answered was, that question. No, I'm huh? still thinking. Yeah, I've been like, thinking about you, it this whole session. Have it, if you have it, just like DM it to me on Discord uh, or something. But otherwise, uh, don't need to have it right now. I've I've, I've been thinking about it the entire session. You? To figure it out to be honest Fair. <laughs> okay so it is a lot of money we have to get three things the third one was that we yeah. had to have a unicorn with so... us to open it right yeah yeah literally Another... just a whole unicorn journey with us to this vault presence of a one horned celestial <sighs> rare and mythical just another question to maybe ponder is Obviously, everybody wants money, but what would the Zentrum do with it? Probably not great things. Bribe? I wonder what the Belanges would do with it. They already have money, unless they owe a debt or something I don't know about. Mm. They owe a debt. They have money, but also, like, how old is the Belange family, you know? Like, is it like a weird new money, old money, people fighting over how much money they have situation? Is there, are they trying to get more power in Waterdeep? Maybe. I don't really know. Hmm. Also, does the rock like still there? Do you like take a nap for the day? Yeah. Do the eyes like close as we ask questions? Because there's three eyes and three charges. Uh, no, the eyes. Oh, that would have been. Cool. Uh, that would have been cute. Um. Okay. Well, we have all of that. Maybe I should ask about this unicorn thing because that sounds like it's going to be the hardest part. Um, me also I can try to pray real quick. Yeah, we can oh, try and true. figure out. You know, if Luru's symbol is unicorns, this probably some way you can connect with a unicorn. If you're gonna head to the shrine to do that, I was thinking about heading to the Belanges just to kind of see what the fallout was. Oh, um, so last night was kind of hectic and I totally forgot to tell you guys and I totally meant to tell you guys. Um, so Pierre was on the roof. Um, what? Yep, he was the mage that threw the firebomb. That motherfucker blew me up! Oh, don't worry, I got him real good. I let him go free. Um, 
then obviously you know that I also said, hey, they're heading back towards the Bolanges. Um, mostly just so oh. Pierre couldn't tell them Shahar ratted me out so that I'm still on good terms with them. Oh. Well played. You're so smart. Well played. Sometimes. Sometimes okay. I have good okay. ideas. But I also didn't want him to get away, you know? But at least it's not my fault. He got caught. He did cause, like, a huge fucking explosion. Like, it makes sense that the cavalry would be looking for him, so... Yeah. I just pointed them in a direction. That's what blew me up. So, that happened last night. And after everything, I just... Forgot, so... Okay, okay. Full disclosure. Wild. Yeah. What happened to... No, they took Ulstar. Yes, they took Urstal. Urstal, that's the one. Yes, yes. Okay. Urstal. They took him. What? They him. probably caught Pierre. And the gnome died? Um, the gnome yeah. was dead. Yeah, hell. no, he was deep Did fried. Pierre fucked him up. Was there anything left? Could we talk to him? With your boss again? Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure. Wait, didn't I mean, you move the, the body? Watch, the watch. Yeah. Of the body. They, the watch. Yeah. The body for, yeah. Uh, I was. I. I would have. I would have tried to get get him out. But there's no way to do that subtly with the watch, with right? The watch. Yeah. No, that's fair. nothing. With all nothing of those people. Yeah. yeah. Nothing yeah. could be done. Okay. 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 So, yeah, I wanted to swing by the Belanges and see what was going on. You want someone to go with you? Yes, please. Just in case Pierre threw me under the bus. I don't think he would have put it together, but maybe he did. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Um... I can go, or um, Johnny, you could go, but should maybe somebody, if we're splitting up and taking care of things, maybe somebody should go look into some of this, like, information? I I, I think that would be... I think that would be why. I, I love you or not, I don't feel like the library is your favorite place to be, so I'll bite that bullet. <laughs> I can read. I didn't say you couldn't read. I just don't imagine you are overly fond of libraries. You don't seem like a bookworm. Yeah. No. Yeah, you you're seem absolutely a jock. Woman of action. Huh? <laughs> I love <Okay>. her. <laughs> love Toko so much. I love this whole party. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <sighs> okay. Edge of it, that's offensive, please. Hey, I didn't say that. I did not. I did not call. Uh, I said that earlier. Dumb. <laughs> Togo did. Yeah. I said, sh I almost said she's dense as rocks, obviously. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I said Anar doesn't like books, not that she can't read. <laughs> that is a difference. <laughs> Anar is a difference. Yeah. No, I didn't find anybody. So I think she just kind of leans back again, throws her arm around Shahara. So I'm on guard duty. Okay, cool. Can do. <laughs> Maybe entertain the customers while they're here. You know, do that manager thing. Got it. Uh, I, I feel like as, as the owners, we don't need to be at every meal, you know? We, no, but it's just, nice to walk around out. once in a while. Yeah, I think I think Cool has got that covered. Yeah. I mean, okay. Mr. Cool is today. doing like some sort of work. So once he's done yeah. with that, he'll come and. It's like Cool is uh, maintaining the bar for at least yeah. the first day of running, make sure everything goes smoothly. Yeah. Yep. What a he's king. very worried about his fire drinks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go. So, with your plans, uh, you all head out. And that's where we'll take a break because that's a good place to do so. It's about Yay! Okay. Please. I can't believe we're. I didn't even pay attention to time. I've been having a blast. <laughs> it's been amazing. yeah. I know. It, it went by so fast. Yeah. yeah. It was so good. Okay. We'll be right back. Bye. Love y'all. We're back. 
Hello. Howdy. What's up? Um, no yeah. sunglasses this time. <laughs> no sunglasses this time, no. Um, so where we left off the party, I decided to split up to do multiple things, cover multiple, cover ground. Sorry, um, Colin. Kula stayed back and, no, it's fine. I got stuff done. Um, stay, well, Kula stayed back and watched the inn. So remind me, uh, who was going where? Library. Library, cool. Girlfriends are going to, um, uh, the Blanches. Cool. And Toku, you're going to the shrine, yeah? Uh, probably to maybe okay. get in touch with Luru, I guess, better at the shrine. We'll see if it works. If not, I'll meet up with, uh, uh, Jehenna at the library. All right. Uh, we will start with Jehenna. Actually, we'll start with the shrine, just in case you meet Jehenna, just in case you decide to meet up with Jehenna. So, okay. Okay. getting to the shrine, uh, there is a, basically there's a large temple with shrines to all the deities that don't have their own specific temple. For example, like, Gond has their specific temple, so they wouldn't be at this one. Um, and I think all of the elven gods all have, or have a specific temple for all of the elven gods. Uh, but yeah, uh, you arriving at the shrine, you see there's a decent amount of people moving in and out. There's various shrines. And no, this is all non-evil deities. <laughs> so there, are no, there are no shrines to evil deities here. Fair enough. Believe it or, believe it or not. Um, I believe Luru is like chaotic good. Yeah. I think. I, I'm, I think Fits the vibe, so. yeah. Either chaotic or neutral, one of the two. Um, but yeah. Uh, looking around, you do can find the one Tuluru. That's a small shrine. All of them are relatively small shrines, but you do see there is one, uh, simply some sort of uh, follower in kind of like clergy robes, just kind of like sitting there, probably some sort of prayer. All right. Um, I am going to go over there and uh, either kneel or sit or however in front of the shrine to uh, with like my shield in front of me that has the um, symbol of Luru. <laughs> Which is also, you know, branded into the side of my head. As a personal choice. No <laughs> one did that to her. <laughs> that she did that. That is, that is my favorite part of Toko's backstory. Is just how is she wanted that. Literally, her parents were like, her, her moms were just like, you know you could get like a tattoo. And she's like, no. Mm -mm. Not permanent enough. I think Tattoos not. fade. So... <laughs> I just, I need to cover that between, I I can't speak for Kula, but uh, pretty much uh, between the party, we have two moms and two dads, but they were married to each other. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically, biologically, you know, I did have mother and father who had me, but I, you know, classic drow society of, you know, the Forgotten Realms. Not really a parental relationship there. <laughs> there, there, there. Uh, so I am gonna. Is it like? Is there seating? Is it just kind of open? Uh, there's, there's like a couple seats around. Yeah. I'll probably sit down. Then I'll give her space, so I'm not like right on top of her. Mm -hmm. But I will kind of like brandish my shield and and bow my head a bit. All right. And what are you attempting? Um, I am attempting to pray to Luru, um, to kind of get some form of guidance as far as finding a physical unicorn. Okay. Go ahead and make a religion check using wisdom instead of intelligence, uh, and make it an advantage since you followed this deity. Yay! Or, or a cleric of said deity. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. <gasps> it's an advantage. I rolled a natural one and a natural 20. There you go. <laughs> hey, you flipped a coin. The duality. I could yeah, take a so picture no. if you need it, but oh my no, god. Good. <laughs> and what's funny is it's the black dice with red letters is the natural one, and the blue and white swirled dice is the natural 20. Yeah. So uh, that would be a total of. So if it's religion, it'd be plus five. So 25. 25. That's very good. That meets like most of the super high DCs. Um, so as you're praying, you kind of like almost feel yourself away from your body for a bit as you're just kind of watching visions flash past. And you do see 
it seems like there is a unicorn and it almost it's walking around somewhere familiar it's a forest it's it just feels familiar to you and you can kind of see it almost galloping through the woods and it peers out and you see a familiar campsite as it kind of watches for a bit and then retreats back into the forest and yeah so when you say familiar is that my home yes okay so we are going on a field trip okay. yes 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 we're yes, going yes. on a trip and our favorite favorite rocket ship they're gonna meet my moms hell, hell yeah. yeah we are we're gonna okay. meet all the gay parents <laughs> i never knew my parents so i'm very excited to meet you <laughs> i'm it, i'm, I'm both happy and nervous about everyone meeting my gigantic family i'm so excited um thank you Con. but i do i kind of profusely thank luru for her guidance <laughs> um and can i look over at the other follower and see like what they're um, like what maybe maybe yeah, listening they, on what they're praying for um they don't seem to be actively speaking their prayer but they're just uh they seem to be uh a a woman with red hair probably about pretty long about like waist length so uh and n nothing special just kind of in general clergy a general clergy outfit you kind of get the feeling that they they're new to like kind of the cleric life so to say they're probably not a full cleric at this point where we're just like an acolyte acolyte hello sister do you seek the guidance of luru as well oh uh, yes sorry uh, am i am i doing it right i'm not really sure <laughs> well i mean uh, there's not really a right it's you just open your heart towards her and right. uh, are you okay oh i'm fine I'm just a bit nervous kind of doing this for the first time ah the first time is always a little strange what what brought you to Uru? Uh, not really sure uh, found a wayward holy symbol and there's a fucking really loud car going by god people in this neighborhood animals uh, you're in the suburbs the settle down <laughs> <laughs> that's that's okay, one of gone's apprentices uh but uh <laughs> with that um I found a wayward holy symbol and it spoke to me so to say not literally but Fair enough, fair enough. I actually come from a, a village dedicated to Uru. So this has kind of been my whole life. Yes. Interesting. Um, not many followers in this city, I can tell you that much. I do my best to keep the shrine. Oh, I've in... noticed. I wasn't expecting anyone at the shrine. <laughs> I do my best to keep it in order, so to say. Just hmm. Make sure it doesn't get dusty. I greatly appreciate that, as I'm sure my my other sisters and mothers appreciate as well. Um, if you were to ever look for, I say, um, more of a community or more followers, I can let you know of where my uh, my home is, which is oh. to say the um this this village or this this camp of Luru. I would. It'd be nice to know, just in case I ever want to take a trip, I suppose. Because mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of clerics, there are some paladins, um, even just some more uh, the, uh, the casual followers who do seek refuge in there. Um, and I, I let her know where it is. Yeah, yeah give her uh, directions. I don't so. think it's too far from the city, from what... I don't, think, I don't think we actually ever nailed down a location necessarily, but we'll, we'll do that. Uh, just that it's <laughs> by the woods. <laughs> Kind of perfect. I can find some woods near Waterdeep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Um. 
And if you ever need help getting there, um, I am Toko. She's the Rat Kishki. Uh, just Toko's fine. Um, you can call on me if you need it. I shut up. I'm about to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I forgot uh, I wasn't muted. <laughs> I'm teasing. I didn't mean it in a mean way. I'm sorry, I thought like, I was muted. I'm getting there. Oh my god. Um, uh, You can find me at actually something called the Incorporeal. It is a new tavern slash brunch location. Um, oh, uh, if you ever want to talk or need help or want to go look for the village. All right, thank you. Uh, I'll keep that in mind. I All don't right. want to keep you any longer than you need. Oh, I was just about to say, I'll stop bothering you. I uh, I wish you well in your uh, journey with Luru. She kind of looks at that strange. It's like, oh, right. Uh, <laughs> like, like I've never seen that. Never seen that kind of like my thing. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah? Is that a Tokoism or is that that's a, a Toko thing? Yes. <laughs> Not oh, a symbol. That's this. a Toko thing. Incredible. She I always wants that. to to show her love <laughs> to Luru. Stop, that's so cute. What the I fuck? hope you start. I hope you can wait. Did I get her like, name? Person that um, it is uh, required. You did not get her name. Okay. Um, could I have your name? Erica. <laughs> I'm the worst at naming, by the way. Uh, Danielle. <laughs> that Colin, my character's name is Jenna. <laughs> my character is a drow named Jenna. <laughs> I was gonna say I love Jehenna. that everybody has everybody has yeah. been calling her Jehenna. Yeah. Her name is Jenna. <laughs> her name her name is Jehenna, which was me going. I can't come up with a name. What if I was fucking around and just? I think I was messaging Cole when I when it's I was pretty, like I Jehenna. could just like take a take a human name and like wait, mess wait, with wait. it. Jehenna Marbolis. <laughs> no. <laughs> but also, um, I love it. It's not um, true, but I love it. Sorry. I just I Anar will forever call you Jenna. Just to get under your skin. Uh my name is Tally. T A L I. Mass Effect! Are you our are you our carpenter? That was the I've been playing that recently. It's the first name that came to mind, all right. Are you our carpenter? No, that's Tally T A L L Y. Ah, right. Different. Like my friend. Yeah, his name's different. Like like Sarah. Yeah. Oh. Uh and is this is this or is she like um human? Human, yeah. Human, okay. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna make sure in the are your pronouns she her or y yes. Just okay. Good to know. Good to know. I always like to ask. Um, we do have a fair few people um, in our village who do go by she, her, they, them. Um, it, it, the village does tend to be mostly female. Um, but we never turn away anyone who comes. Um, so, Still like not I muted, am I? No. Damn it! <laughs> Somebody just lit up a huge fucking thing of incense for another god on the other side. I'm sorry, <laughs> like, I keep sparkling. Like, what's the like, god of like drinking or something and forgot? Caden K. Nope, that's Pathfinder. That's, Never mind. That's Pathfinder. Okay. Caden Caden okay. Uh, Pathfinder. But like I said, you can find me if you need I'm so me. Sorry. Um, and I wish you the best of luck. And have a Don't good day, sister. So. And I'll head towards the library. All right. Which we'll do that next. So sorry, y'all. <laughs> Good. Don't oh, you're, okay. you're fine. Oh, the or in the library, Waterdeep has have several libraries. You probably go to the biggest you can find. Sure. Uh, it's it's a public library. Well, most almost all information cool. is access accessible to anyone, and there is a very vast trove of information. Do I have to check my bandolier of knives at the door? Um. So the thing about Waterdeep is most people don't walk around armed. If at at most, it's usually like maybe they have a dagger hidden somewhere. Oh, okay. Then I probably am not wearing it. Yeah. Uh, if you keep it <laughs> okay, hidden, cool. then people generally won't question. Be like, does that person have a bunch of knives? Yeah. Um, well, I don't need them anymore. They're mostly just for intimate purposes when I'm trying to be intimidating. 
at this point, but I'm not, so I can defend myself. So you probably get started looking and then Toku joins you. <laughs> Hello, how does the, the information go? It's going well. It's library. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I pull up a chair uh, unnecessarily <laughs> loud, not intending to, <laughs> and I sit down in my chain yeah, mail yeah. with my shield. It's like, right. it's better. You tried, <laughs> and I, I just turn over the book I so that Togo doesn't have to get up, and I just give her the book. I would read her and go, I'll get something else. So as you I, oh. both look around trying to find information, go ahead and make uh, those. Uh, if you are in a library, you have access to a wide array of information. You'll have advantage. It's uh, going to be investigation checks for both of you. Yay, I'm good at those. With advantage, you said? With advantage. I forget which of those I rolled. I remember. <laughs> I mean, it's, I rolled a 19, but it's plus zero, so it's 19. I rolled an 11, and if that's not enough, I rolled a 17. Okay. I rolled really low. Uh, 11 wouldn't be enough, but 17 would be. Uh, yes! As, okay. As okay. As okay. Mark off so you both kind of, like, slowly start narrowing away towards the information you find, and there is a specific set of information that you do find. Let's mm. give me a moment while I... Make sure I have the correct information. Come on, D&D Beyond. I believe in you. There you go. It's the, it's this thing. Shots. Open that you. Right. <laughs> so, uh, you kind of have to start going through more esoteric tomes and just like more like much older and eventually you find this very large old tome and it talks about magic and water deep and its founding. Uh, you do find some information pertaining to what you seek, though. Uh, there is an effect over Waterdeep known as Agarian, uh, yeah, it's Agarian's Dragon Ward. Waterdeep is blanketed by an undispellable magical effect known as un uh, Agarian's Dragon Ward. It affects originally some somewhere underneath Agarian's tower, so it's said, in the Castle Ward, and it's completely permanent. Dragons and all other creatures... Uh, that are dragon adjacent are physically unable to enter the city or its sewers so long as this dragon war persists. Uh, this effect, however, does not happen to extend into the harbor or into the large dungeon known as the Undermountain. What okay. about dragon boards? Dragon boards are not, uh, they're, they are humanoids, not dragons. Okay, that's yeah. good. Okay. Um, so, like a wyvern, it's considered a dragon. And in terms yeah, of dragon, would be. Oh, uh, wait, so. Does it, it talk about how deep it goes? It doesn't. It's a protection against dragons. Yes. Is it? Okay. Is it a? Is it a dome or a bubble? Does it say? It says it can't do the sewers. Does it? Uh, no. It says it, 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 you can't enter the sewers either. Uh, the the only place the the effect does not extend into the harbor or into the undermountain. Okay. So that that lowers the chance of the the gold dragon being there but it doesn't prevent it but we know okay now i can safely say we need a bronze dragon scale uh because dragons have been banished from waterdeep uh which is what i knew but didn't know <laughs> didn't want to cheat and know <laughs> We love the honesty. Fair enough. Fair Metagaming enough. is only fun when it's done for dramatic irony. <laughs> I love leaning into just doing the exact opposite of the information I know. It's funny. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's the information you managed to find. Cool. Uh, anything about rare metals? Um, if it uh, go ahead and make another investigation check, then. Cool, cool. Uh, still at advantage, right? Yep. Uh, am I making it, too, or just her? Uh, if you'd like. Oh, hi, Raiders! Hi, Resonim! Damn it. Whoa! Hello, hello! Hello! hello. hello. Hi! <laughs> welcome, welcome. We're in a I library. I your stream went well, Ray! Uh, is 16 enough? 16. For this information, probably. 
Okay, great. Okay, I had cool. a 12. Okay. 16 is probably enough. So you yeah. find information written on various rare metals that are used in the construction of armors or weapons. Uh, and the one that stands out to you based on the description you were given uh, is a metal known as adamantine. Uh, it is incredibly durable. Incredibly durable uh, to the point where blows that would be lethal are often not when struck when wearing armor made of adamantine. And the material is particularly good at demolishing um, inanimate objects. Uh, that And there's also a couple of other listed properties, like uh, certain constructs are immune to damage from non adamantine weapons. Uh, and on top of that, uh, the thing that stands out is it matches. It has that greenish color and hue to it that was described in the riddle. Wonderful. And it's uh, the, the riddle specifically said a bar of this metal, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. So either <laughs> we either need a, like a staff... Or like a bar, <laughs> depending on how pedantic this uh, stone is. For shits and giggles, is there anything about unicorns at the library? Got things about unicorns. Do I, do I, did you let me know you had the unicorn vision? Uh, not yet. <laughs> okay, because we, we're still, read. we're still telepathically linked. Okay, so... Uh, so I you will, could have when you had it, like if you didn't. We're, okay. we're probably like reading over the things. It's like, yeah. so Luru did give me a bit of a, a helping hand, a bit of a vision. Hey. Um, it looks like we do need to take a field trip because it's right Wonderful. by my village. Yeah. Which I guess in retrospect makes sense. Yeah. But I've never seen an actual unicorn. I didn't know they were there. Yeah, yeah. Um, you want you want to still in the library? Sorry, the I've the A was were there. telepathically. That's fair. So, yeah. Oh wait, she's talking to you telepathically. Oh, she is okay. <laughs> oh no, she's like probably started it, but now she's like whispering telepathically. <laughs> yeah. Toko, Toko, and feel free to correct me, Toko always struck me as the type of person who, unless you're actively stealthing, all of your telepathic communications are also out loud. A little bit. A okay. Little bit. Yeah. That's the assumption. I think you unless said that I at one point. Unless I specify. Yeah. She's probably yep. saying it that loud. Yes. Excellent. I love it. I love her so much. So... It seems to be in the, the, the woods near my uh, my home. Love to see it. Uh, so it looks like we will get to see my family. Wonderful. Um, it, warning. I mean, not warning. They're a very nice village, obviously. I've lived there my whole life. I love them all to death. Um, it is a village of all women um most of which do like women um so i'm sorry you can see where i get it from uh there are my mothers um there are many sisters not not related um and i'm the only orc okay that's been there like not even half orcs so hmm. Just heads up. Okay, so not biological mothers. Oh, no. Okay. I was found in the woods as a baby. Wild. Okay. Mentally, not telepathically. That explains a lot. <laughs> ITs. So. ITs. Wow, me. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. fully kidding. I know, I know. Um, but yeah, All so it's I just heard like in my head was uh, uh, Daniel Rose or uh, why can I not remember the sister's name? Alexis in my head from Schitt's Creek, just mm, lick rust <laughs> or eat glass. <laughs> yeah, so she let's let's Johanna know. Yeah, okay, okay, seems like an interesting place. I see no problems with this. 
<laughs> kind of <laughs> gonna fuck this village. Gonna fuck this village. <laughs> That wraps up your investigations into the various clues that you looked at, and we'll cut over to uh, Shahara and Nar. So, you're to the Bolanges, right? Mm-hmm. Holding hands and everything. Yeah. So, yeah! during this time, so, probably, like, considering we got back, like, around noon, probably, like, one or two in the afternoon at this point. Mm-hmm. Uh, so as you approach, you can see immediately something seems up because you see there are a significant amount of, of watch, uh, city watch, of, like what, like in the actual villa itself, like talking to people, really investigating things. Oh, and that's not normal. Normally, the watch doesn't do that. No, they don't. Oh boy. Okay. Can we even? No, in the villa. So we're already inside, or uh, as you kind of you're approaching, you see that there are some okay. kind of watch around. Can we get and to I'll the have, door? I'll have both of you make a perception check as well. Okay. Wait, I have so many not quite dice in my dice tray. Um, please. <laughs> Do I? So now it's the middle of the day. It is. So you would have disadvantage thanks to sunlight sensitivity. But I have, I rolled a natural 20. No, on a perception check? This session. No, I have disadvantage. Uh, 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 Shahar has disadvantage because of sunlight sensitivity. That's fine. I, I got you, babe. Um, I did roll a natural 20. I also have a negative one to perception. So 19. That's enough. Oh, um, no. <laughs> 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, roll a skills check. She rolled decently well. So, uh, Anar does spot, however, uh, moving away from the villa, kind of like seemingly as these, the watch seem to have probably just gotten here, more or less. Uh, but moving away, kind of like cloaked and whatnot, you see a very brief glimpse of having seen him before of uh, Cyril, kind of a hooded and cloaked, just deleting. <laughs> Wise man. Um, no, I was trying to sit here and be like, did I bring Palace with me? But I don't think I did. Probably I not. <laughs> probably not. He's he did a lot of work last night. Um I think um I like squeeze Shahara's hand and I'm like, You stay here. I'm I'll be right back, okay? Okay, is everything okay? Yeah, I just I saw Cyril sneaking around over there. I want to go check that out and see what's up. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to give her a kiss on the cheek, cast Pass Without Trace for the both of us, um, and I'm going to go um, sneak after zero. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, make a stealth check. Ooh! Um, so that's a 15. I have a plus 5 to stealth, and then I have a... Na- uh, 30. And, 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 yeah, it's a 30. 30. Yes. God damn, fine. <laughs> All right, you're Love to see it. <laughs> yes, queen. Yeah. So as you, he seems to be kind of moving at a pretty brisk pace down the various streets and kind of like ducks mm-hmm. into a couple alleys here and there. Oh, that doesn't mean shit to me, though. I know these alleys. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. I, I maneuver and move quickly enough to like cut him off. Where are you going? Oh, uh, in her city hi. watch uniform. I was taking a stroll over to the city of the dead to pay res- the respects to my various members of the past members of the family. Hmm. Yeah, because it looks like he definitely disappointed them. What's going on around here? Oh, uh, <laughs> shit. Seems to be some sort of watch investigation of, as far as the allegations go. I'm not sure. They haven't told me yet. You ever hear of the Incorporeal? I have. It's a new tavern opening up, yes. Or has it opened yeah, yeah, yeah. now? I don't know. I mean, I think opening night was last night. Last Were you there? Me? No. I don't 
don't need to do an inside check, right? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> this is no, this is Cyril, not Pierre. Oh, Cyril. Okay, never mind. I'm, he this was. Is, this is the uh, patriarch of the family, not. The oh, right, right, right. I thought yeah. first step. No, he wasn't here. Yes, okay. Um, I'm just. I think I saw your son there last night. Pierre. I think. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Where he's been, but he's been working at the time. Um. Well, tell me, I mean, I don't know. He was just there. What kind of family business would he be in, into? I'm not sure. He might have been shirking off his duties. He's done that before. Mm. Well, if you are going to the City of the Dead, then, you know, I can give you an escort. You are being investigated by the City Watch, so I feel like somebody should at least look after you. That is why you were sneaking away, right? If, again, I was just heading to the City of the Dead, is all. Get him. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, like, kind of, like, push myself off of the wall, lean in, and just listen, Cyril. Oh, sorry. Mr. Lord Belange, whatever. I was there last night and I did see your son. And I handled that whole situation. So I know, granted, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I'm not stupid. What's going on and where are you going? Make an intimidation check. Yes! Queen! Uh, using strength. That's using amazing. Using strength? Okay, let's uh, go. Yes! I have a lot. Cool. That's going to be a 15. Yes! It's a bad. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a Look. Can't right now. I need to meet someone, and if I don't show, it's going to be bad news for everyone. Who are you meeting said, with? I, considering what's going on, I can answer your questions later, just after this meeting. Meet me at the incorporeal after the meeting. If even if I'm not there, you wait. You wait until I get there. Wait all night if you have to. You do go to this meeting. You go straight to the incorporeal. And if you don't show up, my griffin will find you. I mean, I've come directly because he may have someone follow me, but. Fair. But if you don't come there, you don't have to worry about the people who are following you. You have to worry about me because I will find you. And he kind of he nods and but you get a sense that like oh he is afraid of you he's more afraid of whoever he's going to meet yeah that's understandable that's fair um but i like lean back um and let him pass and he kind of he says i wasn't lying about the city of the dead but where the meetings happen well I uh, send a prayer for your loved ones, son. I feel like they won't be the ones needing it. And he kind of heads off. Um, then I walk back over <laughs> to the front um, to smash. Mm-hmm. So are we going? <laughs> um, I feel like I probably would have started talking to some of the guards. Mm-hmm. Just like around. Um, excuse me. Uh, yes. Hello. Can I help you? Hi. I I I work for the family. I came to check in. Is everything okay? Yes. Just a, a routine investigation by the watch. Um, I highly doubt there'll be in need of your services today. That being said, can I ask you a few questions? If you said you are employed by them. Yes. Right. So have you ever seen any strange figures moving in and out of this estate? Often a lot of times. Um, there was one time 
there um I thought I saw someone in the stables. Right. But by the time I got there they were gone, I'm sorry. Stables. And kinda of like nods over to someone else who is like also part of the conversation he goes off to check the stables. Right. Um as far as the business the Belanges did, do you know anything about it? Um, not a whole lot. Um, I know that it is rare items and like art and um that sort of thing, as far as I know. Um, I'm a performer. Right. Uh, one last question. As far as the uh, various... You may have heard about the events of last night when there was a fireball discharged in the, in the streets of the city. Um, as far as that goes, do you know the whereabouts of any of the uh, members of the family at the time? Oh, at the, at the inn, incorporeal. Um, yes, that was the location. I'm not sure. It right. was kind of hectic. My friend was caught in the explosion. Nods and says, well, uh, nonetheless, I hope your friend's doing all right. Uh, that's all I have for you now. Thank you. If you need anything else, let me know. I'll try to help as much as I can. Nods. And he kind of, uh, with that, he kind of goes over to what, what looks like some sort of, probably a wizard. He's a very kind of like short man, big robes, kind of like a long gray beard, and has kind of like those almost John Lennon-esque glasses on. Uh, and is like flipping through a book and he's kind of like he nods over to the stables and the, the wizard goes over to check a look, to take a look at them. Gotta stay in those good graces. <laughs> um, maybe by that point, Anar comes back. Yeah. My stream cut out, but it's fine. That means I'm on the same page as Anar. We don't know shit that's going on. I just slide no. on out. <laughs> slide to the left. Slide to the right. Chris Crow. Um. As like slowly walking inside, and as you come up next to me, I take your hand again. Did you manage to find him? Mm, yeah. Uh, he's going through the City of the Dead, but more importantly, um, he's going to check out the latest, hottest bar right afterwards, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, they were just asking me some stuff, but I didn't really have a lot to give. Of course. So. Right. Maybe we should go find Maud. Yeah, I, I think like so. She's the most trustworthy one. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know them better than I do, but from what everybody's told me, I trust her. Mm -hmm. She wanted in, which means that she wasn't, so. Mm -hmm. uh, start looking around for Maud. Uh, looking around, you can eventually find her kind of like hanging out in an outside area, just kind of on a bench. She says, oh, uh, Taisha Ha, um, bit of an odd time for you to show up, I imagine. Yes, I noticed. Um, I came by to check in on some things, but uh, I see there's bigger things going on. Yes, yeah, some sort of investigation. I'm not sure what about. But... They haven't said anything to you? Not really, just ask questions. Hmm. Do you know where Cyril is? I saw him this morning. I'm not sure where he is now. I forgot the mom's name. Marin? Is that, does that matter? Um, Marin, let me double check. Yeah. I got you. Marin, yeah. Um, and Marin? Uh, she's upstairs chewing them out for going through her things. Uh, I thought I heard that. Yes. Okay. That confirms that. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. I mean, I know I've done nothing wrong, but 
It's uh, very strange to have your morning interrupted by this. I haven't really seen Pierre around either. You should be all over this sort of thing. Pierre didn't come home last night? I was asleep, I'm not really sure. And you haven't seen him today? Not today. Looking around, are there guards near where we are? Um, probably not, no. I got an eye, we have an eye on you, that's enough. Uh, quietly, just loud enough for Maud to hear. Pierre was at the end last night. Wait, like when the, everything happened, is he all right? He's the one that threw the fireball. What? Why? I don't know. That explains a lot. Yeah. I wanted to let you know. Right. If these guards weren't here, I'd go through his things trying to figure out what he was doing or why he was doing it, but... I could do that. I like, kind of, like, adjust my uniform. I think he might have kept a journal of some sort. Okay. Yeah, I... I'll go. I'll go do that. Um, just direct me to... Just can see directions to his room. Mm-hmm. Oh, and uh, Shahara was just gonna say, um, I think it might have had something to do with the shipment. That just explains why they didn't want me in on it. Um, I'm gonna squeeze Shahara's hand one last time, nod to Maud, and then go off, um, put it on, like, big airs as I walk. Uh -huh. eventually make your way down to Pierre's room. You see there's our, there's one guard kind of like looking through things, like checking under sheets and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I can take over. Appreciate it, actually. I'd mm -hmm. been wanting to take a break, but I knew the captain would shoot me out if I was. And he kind of like just immediately just walks out like he was <laughs> ready to be done with searching that room. Absolutely incredible. Get a little salute, close the door behind me, and I start ripping this room apart. Gotcha. It doesn't take long to find where he probably keeps this. You kind of like flip up the mattress and underneath there seems to be at the bottom, on the bottom of the bed frame, there seems to be a, uh, a uh, locked um, sort of like small container, uh, like almost built into the bed frame itself. There's a very clear lock on the outside though. There's a lock? It's a, it's a padlock. Okay. Um, I'm going to take my scimitar and pop it open. Okay. Go ahead and make... Uh, just a general athletics check. I'd say I had advantage because you're using a tool against it, and it's not that great of a lock. Uh. Um, that's a nat 20 plus 6. Holy <laughs> shit, what are we rolling? What are your rolls <laughs> today? I, I have dice mold, and the 20. dice are recognizing me as one of their parents. Yeah, I'd They're say like, because oh. of that nat 20, you, just kinda, you pop it off in such a good angle, it comes Ooh. immediately off and barely makes any sound. Absolutely. You love to see it. Sexy. Mm. Big sexy. Sexy. You know, Hot it's a light hell. day. <laughs> it's a day. Um, yeah, so I pop it open and I take everything. Um, right. I do start flipping through. If there is a diary, I do weed. start flipping through it. Oh, there's totally some weed. There's definitely some like dragon snuff. There's, a, there, you know, he has his parents. There probably is a little bit, but um, like the equivalent <laughs> of like a small like little baggie of weed, the equivalent the water deep equivalent of that. I don't know what it would be. Um, mm -hmm. but, I like dragon uh, snuff. Sure. <laughs> um, I feel like I got that from somewhere, but anyway. Yeah. Uh, there's also a particularly nice, uh, like kind of like well crafted dagger uh, on top of a small journal. Um. Okay. So I take the. I take the dagger. Can I investigate the dagger to see if there's like, I don't know, like, does it have any iconography that would be like associated with some organization or maybe who made it? Just like, it looks well crafted. So I feel like Anara would scope it out, you know? Jock Looking to jock. at it, 
it looks like uh, it has the like the symbol of the Blanches on there, mm. uh, as well as various just general filigree. It's probably some sort of either crafted specifically for him or maybe an heirloom of some sort. Yeah, yeah. I pocket it. Um. Oh wait, no, it's like crafted by the Belanges. Never mind, I put it away. <laughs> um, and then I start flipping through. Yeah, I mean, okay, I we made a joke about a diary or a journal or anything. There is one, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I start flipping through that. Okay, flipping through it seems mostly normal stuff, uh, until you kind of get towards the end where it talks about. He's been working on it. His father has gotten him to work on a job because he can't, feels like he can't take it alone. And how he has suddenly realized that this is he's way in over his head from what he wanted to be. He didn't mm. think it would involve such back alley like tactics and dealings. Mm. He mm -hmm. thought it was just a high price profile client. Because mm. they're art brokers, right? Uh, like arts antiquities that sort of thing yeah yeah okay uh and then later on it talks about how his father gave him a a orange and red beaded necklace and told him to stake out troll skull alley and should he see a gnome walking down to simply throw one of the beads he wasn't even sure what it did just throw one of the beads at the gnome and quickly retrieve whatever that gnome had in his pockets and while it said he, he very in the writing he very clearly didn't want to do it he wasn't sure what else to do <laughs> like can't just say no at this point and it talked about how it's like there are some really nasty people involved with this he feels like he just can't say no okay um how far is the city of the dead from here? From here? Mm-hmm. Uh, ooh, that's a good question. Let me look. Uh, it's it's a walk, but not like the longest walk. Okay. It's probably, okay, okay, it's, okay. It's like to the entrance of the city of the dead, like 4,000 feet. So probably a good like 10 minute walk, 10, 15 minute walk. Okay, well, as an urchin, I have the feature city streets, so I can travel between any two locations in the city twice as fast as my speed would normally allow. Take five minutes to get there, then. Cool. Um, I'm going to go back downstairs. I, I have all the important information. I go back downstairs. I, like, stop by Shahara's, like, little powwow. Or, ooh, sorry, little gathering. Sorry. That was on me. Shouldn't use that term um little gathering and go over kind of like uh nod to Maud again give her a kiss on the cheek um as and like as i do i'm like hey um i'm going to go follow um the father i there's yeah i'll be back um and i'm going to cuz cuz now i know for a fact that you know this is all him so i want to oh, go um, i uh turn and like uh give you a kiss as well, and bardic inspiration. Ah, thanks, Gay. Gay. <laughs> Gay. <laughs> Love to see it. <laughs> Thriving. Um, and I'm going to rush over to the City of Dead and start trailing the father. Did you get Zero. there? Uh, he probably would, considering he spent time investigating here. He'd probably be already at the city, but you get there quickly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Pass the letters that's an hour, so you can still have it up if you'd like. Yeah, definitely. Also, I've never used a background feature before. This is wild. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> well, I was like, oh, I didn't know that. that I didn't know it did that. Um, it does do that. Urchin background, that. pretty good. Um, yeah, and so I, no, yeah, I, I get the background the, is. Yeah. Hey, everybody, check all of your skills and abilities you know you never know when it's gonna be important oh i i've basically been doing it anyway <laughs> there you go um and i'm gonna yeah I'm, I'm just gonna trail after him um and uh yeah right trailing after him uh you know the streets doesn't take you any time at all and kind of getting to the city of the dead go ahead and re uh, go ahead and remake a stealth check for me with pass without trace of course and bark inspiration should you need it. <laughs> should you feel like you need it? That's gonna be um twenty nine. 
Okay. No, wait. Yeah, 29. <laughs> okay. Easily hidden from everything. Um, eventually, you do find what seems to be a small gathering. It's at the, like the, one of the very back areas of the city of Dead. It's almost kind of surrounded by a series of mausoleums. So it is, you just hear voices going on at the time and general um, talking. But as you kind of move your way over and kind of like behind one of the mausoleums, you can see into this meeting and you see Cyril kind of nervously standing there, uh, hood down now. But talking with a like a black cloaked, heavily black cloaked figure, uh, and there are two others with them. These ones you can see better. They don't have, they don't have as many. Like one of their hoods is down. It is a woman, completely shaved, with bald head, with a series of like red tattoos across the entirety of her head. Sexy. Uh, so hot. But a human um, woman. Human woman. Yes. Uh, so I need to give you a moment while I look. Up. Do I recognize anything about her or her tattoos? Make history. Check. The black staff. <laughs> <No. laughs> Kamala Harris. Um. That'd be a, a whole level of, of corruption to expose. Like. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know it was brought up last week, but every time I think of the black staff, I just see Kamala Harris. <laughs> We've seen the photo and everything, but she has that oh energy God. for better. Or worse. I love that. It's just it's it, that's it. That's what it is. Oh in my, my brain. God! Um, that's gonna you be a. Me. <laughs> it's gonna be a thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, I would not. That is not enough. But if you'd like to add your bardic inspiration to that, you could. Okay, it's a D four. D D six. D six. D six or D eight? Uh, I think it goes to D eight fifth level it might be yeah fifth. um that's going to be a 15. 15. Yeah. 15 is just enough these markings you've kind of seen and heard about them you've never really seen a wizard of this variety uh but you have heard about fey and the wizards that they um produce uh this very clearly not a high probably not a high up wizard um but this is at least has the markings of a red wizard of fey Fay, not Fay. Fay, T H A Y. Okay. They are non-binary from Fay. <laughs> um, they them from Fay. No. Yeah. They them. Um. Okay. So, uh, Cyril's meeting with a red mage. Okay. Got it. Um. Human. And. Uh, the other just seems to be uh, just some sort of generic uh, bruise or sort. Okay. Mook number four. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a meat exactly. sack. Exactly. Um, <laughs> That's probably exactly what he's there for, yeah. Oof. Yeah. Do I hear what they're talking about, or do I just see them? Uh, you can hear. You're probably close enough to where you can hear, and you see um, the, fa the figure, this one's facing away from you, the very heavily black-cloaked figure. I uh, just simply oh, say, no. you realize the situation you've gotten me into, right? And mm. she just goes, yes, yes, I'm fully aware. They are investigating us. It's not good. And says, yes, not good would be an understatement. But if they find any of the information, then things are done, right? Uh, and he just kind of says, like, I've tried to hide it as best as possible. I'm doing my best, he says. Regardless, you've become a loose end. I can't have loose ends. And she says, I assure you, says, enough. As much as it pains me to do so, it's only business. And just snaps his fingers and you just see Cyril, just the light leave his eyes and he just collapses on the ground. And he just looks over to the other two, says, dispose of the body, I'm returning back. And he just kind of like snaps his fingers again, gone. As But as he kind of turns around, you see the very subtle glint of metal underneath the hood. Shit. This was, and this is separate from the, the, the woman. The two are just there. Yeah, okay. yeah. the two are just, were just there at the meeting. And I think that's a good place to end the session. Oh, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. You 
can't do this to us. Again, it's about like eight minutes, so. I'm fucking real. Y'all, this was a thick sode. It was. This was a fucking dummy thick sode. <laughs> Motherfuckers, oh power word kill? Yeah. He didn't even, it's a like, light day. It's truly. Wow. It's a mild So he's day. dead. And we can't even get to his body. I'm glad you invested. To him. I'm, I'm glad you investigated the uh the the uh City of the Dead, because otherwise you would have just heard that he died. Yeah. <laughs> um Anar's dumb, but uh Liv the player is not. I mean, I'm dumb, it. but I'm not stupid. <laughs> oh my I mean, we can we can find which grave they put his body because that's the reason they did it in the sea. Dead, right? <laughs> you think they put him in a grave? Ah, damn. I mean, I'm still there. I mean, you are. And I could be doing a patrol. What level is this wizard? At least seventeenth, or the equivalent, I would say. The equivalent of a 17th level spellcaster, at least. We can take him. If we can fight a dragon, we can fight a level 17 wizard. <laughs> so it sounds like I don't think I we never can said do how either. old the dragon we could fight was. I'll fight a, any a dragon. dragon. I'll fight I'll fight an ancient dragon. Okay, I'll fight like, any dragon. The good okay, thing. I'll I'll watch you die. The good <laughs> thing about this up. though, the good thing about this though. Love you. If this wizard is a 17th level caster, that means we gotta level up a lot. Which means we're in for maybe a long haul, and I so happen to love that. <laughs> I figured it out. Yeah. Early earlier in the session, uh, you like you did it really quickly, and I, I've just been trying to figure it out. <laughs> I've like, I don't know, ADHD. It's, it's, I was just like, it's live the K-pop stand I mean, here to I give you say, finger hearts. The, I, I've gone far off track. Like this is not what's happening any at all. Um, but how the Abajo originally intends it is the various villains in each uh, in the book uh, are not intended to be fought. Because like they're all strong enough for it. If you fight them, you're going to die. <laughs> like yeah. Um, for reference, uh, if you're running in a different season, Xanathar can be the villain. You're not meant to uh, believe it or not. Uh, I would finding never a fight finding a beholder at max fifth level is not a good idea. Uh, I would never fight Xanathar. I would only support and love him. But only Arzan. <laughs> there you go. Also, Our Zanath Colin, our Xanathar has like if Elton John was a mob boss. And <laughs> can we get Xanathar to like turn this metal wizard into stone? <laughs> he does owe us a favor. He does owe us a favor. <laughs> can we turn the villains of these arcs against one another? <laughs> the patented James Malloy method. I mean. We're not running this season, but for reference, uh, <laughs> Jenna, your boss can be yeah. one of the villains. So he can like, be one of the villains. I was he's honestly, actually I incredibly didn't... scary in combat, by the oh way. Oh my god, yeah. He has legendary actions. Yeah. The uh, dude's the dude is terrifying. I don't I don't, fight I don't know him, stat blocks. But... I don't know stat blocks. I've just read the books he's in. And oh, yeah. But to uh to curb um a recently viral tweet, they have power world word, but as a group of yeah. queer players. We have power word kiss. So what are you gonna do? We do. <laughs> this, this dude we're gonna, double deals with What are we gonna do? Wolf. We're gonna make the villains kiss. <laughs> Excellent power move. No. <laughs> oh, I wanna see Xanathar and Metal Wizard fan art by tonight. Oh no. No, ew, <laughs> Everybody ew. hop on the AO3, Xanathar X Metal Head. <laughs> Slow burn, 50k words. That's I, your sign. I, you said metal head, and I just pictured That's pyramid head. That's a wrap. We're wrapping it up. <laughs> wrap it up. We're wrapping it up. All right. Uh, outros. Um, I should do some outgoing announcements. Uh, real God. quick. <laughs> what a what a day! Why I feel are like we I've, the way that we are? Has been a day, indeed. I feel like I've been, been here for 500 hours and three seconds, all at the same time. <laughs> This, this has been an excellent episode. This was a good um, one. Alrighty. So, uh, outgoing announcements. Uh, once again, tomorrow is Infant Horizon at 6 p.m. PDT. Uh, I'll be a special guest. Go see it. Uh, special guest who I've already forgotten the name of because I'm the worst. Uh, uh, Remy, uh, right? Remy, yeah. I, I knew it was yeah. Remy. I just wanted to Remy post. That's the 
That's full name. Um, I watched some of it last week. Incredible. Great game. Yeah. Um, and yeah, if you want to support the channel, uh, you can sub on Twitch, get you emotes, which are done by both Cole. Uh, they literally had like a burp come up mid sentence. <laughs> Andalia. Andalia. Uh, so yeah, those are great. Uh, uh, you can also support us on Patreon, get the access to the tabletop media supplements, as well as the monthly media recommendations and character journals. If you're Twitch sub, you also get that benefit, so even more reason to Twitch sub. Uh, you also get the entire backlog of stuff. So yeah, uh, you can, if you want to stay up to date on announcements and stuff, you can follow us on Twitter at Rule of War or by joining the Discord exclamation point Discord. Good way to support and engage with the community. And as far as announcements go, the first place you're going to see them is on Discord, so that's the place to be if you want to stay like the most up to date. So yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's mostly it. Oh, and once again, the VODs for Ramblemancy and Into Deep are going to be, are from last week, are delayed, but they will be up shortly. So, on this one. On YouTube, that is. So you can always, you know, catch the VODs in the actual VOD section of Twitch. Uh, but yeah. Um, outros are a thing. We'll go reverse order, starting with Cole. Oh, goodness. Hey, howdy, hey. I'm Cole. You can find me at Cole Moriel on Twitter. Um, I'm just a humble artist playing games with friends. Um, living my best gay life in both of my streams. I am the luckiest person alive. Um, Hell yeah. <laughs> um, you can catch me here on Tuesdays playing Shahara, uh, Drowbard Gal. And on Mondays, you can catch me over at Friends Roll Dice. Friends Who Roll Dice. Um, playing my Tiefling Wizard, Blade Singer, Aridin, and things are getting spicy. And um, June, I'm going to be in a Coriolis mini campaign over on Valdrian's channel to be determined when I'm playing because I'm gay and indecisive and can't make up my mind. <laughs> um, and Mood. exciting is Pride is coming up. So, obviously, the stream is just going to be thriving. I don't um, know why I gasped, but I knew that. <laughs> so, it's next month. Keep an eye on the forward Twitter. Probably going to be some announcements coming up. That's me. Alrighty. Uh, the Indirect is not here, but she'll be back next week. She's great. She streams. Uh, catch her on Twitter as well. Uh, going to uh, Lily, you're next. Hello, I am Willie, uh, at Williannapolis on Twitter. Uh, you can find me um, various Thursdays over at uh, Night Raider T. T is in the beverage, um, playing as a uh, long-term guest character. Um, just the, the the character that moved onto your couch and won't move off. Um, no. Um, uh, over in uh, our sort of casual home game that's being streamed for posterity. Um, I'm a big, big buff lady blood hunter. Um, Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yes. And, um, other than that, uh, you can find me on Twitter, uh, being a small buff lady who makes jokes. <laughs> oh, Leah, you're next. Hello, I am Leah. I played the lovely Toko. Um, I am that geeky artist over on uh, Twitch and on Twitter. Um, I also play in a game called Oops All Barovians uh, every other Sunday. Um, I believe it is this Sunday at um, 6.30 EST. Um, it's over at R Derek P uh, on Twitch. And it's a heavily homebrewed uh Curse of Strahd game where we're all Barovians and my boy's about to like hit second puberty. Supernatural puberty. S a second supernatural puberty. Second supernatural? Because of a feat he took that was tailored for him. Lovely. Yeah, we got we got character specific feats. That's that hot. That our DM that's wrote cool. for us. That's an idea. Like with an that's entire sexy. dog. Oh, that's no. I have so many Google Docs. That's an idea, oh, you're me ideas. Oh, <laughs> yes. Listen, if you want to And they look me, like they're from I'll a D&D book, too. Um, um, Gibbs. Ice. Gibbs. You've only ice. spent one session leveled up. Uh, I can, we can change things around. We can retcon. <gasps> we can retcon. No. Um, ice, I mean, ice, none of eyes, eyes. Wait, I need, where's Leah's eyes emote? 
Eyes. <laughs> I've I've sent it in chat. What what she said. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yes. Props oh to your GM God. for that. I'm stealing that. <laughs> hey! Yeah, there's a lot of handouts and a lot of like hand tailored so docs for each that. individual player, by the way. Specific what up? I like that. So, I use that for amazing. Full names too. But Ooh. yeah, enough gushing about Derek. <laughs> amazing. DM. Colin's brain going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I heard that, I'm like, why haven't I thought of that? So, if you want to get a look <laughs> at that, like I said, our Derek P. every other Sunday, 6.30 EST. Alrighty. Uh, live. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm your girl, your gal, your non-binary pal. My name's Liv, um, and I have had so much fun <laughs> today. Um, I am one of those annoying people who jump around from stream to stream, so you can find me on a couple of different channels. On Monday, I'm under the table with Total Party Chill, um, where we are doing Darius Month. Darius is one of our player characters, and we are diving deep into his psyche, which is really just an excuse for us to showcase a whole bunch of different games. So, so far we've done uh, Lasers and Feelings. We did Squeak Easy, and then this week, we literally yesterday, we did Everyone is John, um, which is very funny because Darius's player's name is John. Ha. Uh, yeah. Very um, good. Yes. It's going to be about, I think, two weeks or so until your girl is going to be GMing. So come check out Total Party Chill. Last night was genuinely hilarious, and they're all incredible incredible people i have learned so much from all of them here i play anar um with all of y'all we're getting into deep on tuesdays and that's what i do and tomorrow is going to be the finale <gasps> of um miestros del tiempo um mm -hmm. which is a pasión de las pasiones game over on off the table where i play rosa who is uh you know young tween um actress turned home just 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 turned home wrecker life wrecker hurricane of a person i thought you said <laughs> turned homo i was like <laughs> no that's me that's me <laughs> that's just i am fun yeah. fact i'm a child model turned homo so really yeah, we'll talk about that. Looking at you, not surprising. Oh, uh, oh my god, yeah, no, stop. Not surprised. <laughs> not, surprised. I, not surprised in the least. You could still be a yeah. model. Mm, <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, if you want to see me close out that chapter, it's messy. It's a lot of fun. We're all playing for Argentina. It's messy. Um, but yeah, that'll be tomorrow. Uh, I think it's, yeah, 7 Pacific, 10 Eastern. Um, over on Off the Table. So, yeah. And then there's a couple of things in the works. Ooh. We'll see. Uh, I guess me. Hi, I'm Colin at Colin underscore C underscore Kelly on Twitter. I have a couple of things. I'm the GM for this. Also part of the podcast Favorite Expeditions, the Rise of the Rune Lords, eh, Rise of the Rune Lords podcast. I think all season one and two are out now. Season three will eventually be out. Uh, we just need to keep recording it and it's, it's almost done being edited like the editor seven was caught up to us so we're like we've been on hiatus so it's like we need to actually like you know record uh <laughs> that'd be a good idea um hot boy shit and then oh yeah necro necrobiotic that's a that's the thing uh help which is a that. super fun game yeah i helped market that uh kickstarter is alive for that um uh, we have already funded we are already fully funded now it's just a stretch goal we've Fuck already hit yeah. the first we've already hit the first stretch goal so that's just the laters uh and as we go into the later stretch goals eventually more and more people get to like write adventures and stuff for it and drac on infant horizon tomorrow is will write one of those adventures if we hit the stretch goal so <gasps> yeah. drac from infinite horizon and also keith who is the gm for under the table there you go. Hell so yeah. it's it's a family affair. Again, everybody. there's been more and more and more people that I keep learning that I know that have that have like that are working on this project. I love um it. also um from the one shot that I did with Abria Vanna. Ooh, um, and then one of the people from Transplanner, I'm so sorry. I, their name is I want to say their name is Connie. Mm, I think so. Yes, yes, but um our four characters from when we did a one shot are going to be in that book. So you want to own oh, it. Shit. You want to own it because there's going to be art of your pal in the book. 
I'm like looking at the overlay because now I want to know. The art just for it is also fantastic art. Oh something. my god, it's so good! I was like drooling. Over Everybody it. should check out Necrobiotic. It's a really, really, really fun game. Uh, but I think that's it uh, for tonight. I believe off on a cliffhanger, which is always fun. Uh, you leave off on a cliffhanger every week. Uh, yeah. You're very good at that. Uh, You're so good at Colin, I sound Colin bitter, but it's leaves, awesome. Colin leaves on a cliffhanger every single episode. At the beginning it's, of every episode, still asks what happened. <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah. It is, quite frankly, very impressive narrative pacing. That we yeah. have an interesting, you know thing to ponder for the next week the way i gm is i just have a series of events that are just kind of like floating in the void of my brain Mood. and then i just pull Jay, them as, I, as I need to i'm just like yeah, i'll use this one now speaking of writing colin if somebody wanted to play something you wrote is that possible yes uh i have <laughs> I've written a an adventure for the spy hander rpg if you like that <laughs> called devilish undertones uh the link is in my twitter bio i think i'm literally one sale away from copper bestseller right now <laughs> so somebody should buy it yes. somebody should buy it yeah and get, I it, get it like get it get it get it i can give away if i hit copper bestseller but That's yeah awesome uh, yes short snaps i guess it, it involves you um uh, under like uncovering a cult and dealing with that. Zweihander is very Ooh, different from D&D. It actually originally started as a D&D adventure and I swapped it to Zweihander because it worked way better for the thing I was writing. Hell yeah. That being said, I won't go into a tangent. Uh, I should wrap it up. We will see you next week for Into Deep. Fuck, I like, oh, poked oh, myself oh. in the ear. I... <laughs> we will see you Hold on. next week. There it is. What's that? Be gay do house heist. Be gay do house music. Yep, that's. Be gay do house music. Okay, I mean that's fair.